welcome to the store. We just got a few new items in, so make sure to check them out. Passengers should be mindful of the platform's edge. Strong winds can arise suddenly. Connection trams across all major commercial areas of our core. City flight is business travel.
Now arriving. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Your personal belongings are your personal responsibility. Monitor your luggage at all times. Vehicles, your vehicle has been delivered. Please visit us again. It takes all of us working together to keep our corpse safe and secure. Be vigilant and report possible threats every time.
Clear to launch. Thank you, and please visit again.
We would be honored if you would join us. Hey there, Francisco. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. We are trying to make sure everything is okay tonight. I had to change my cable modem out today. And I'm running tests on Twitch and YouTube right now to make sure we're groovy. Because lately it's been dropping me. Alright, what do we got here? I know I sold gold. Ooh, quantanium. Yes, please. Where is my smell elevator? Alright, so what we're going to do is shove this up here for now. And then we will grab it in just a minute. Uh, gold, yes, please. Shove you up here. And should be a couple more. Hope you're doing well today. Where did the other containers go? There they are. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and put these on the grid while we're here. There's no sense screwing around. Let's shove you right there. Up. Oh, come on. There you go. Thank you. That ought to work. Now let's grab the quant. Let's rotate you. Right about in here. And that gold. That should be just about right. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, nice. No target. What the hell are you talking about? No targets. There. Oh man, I hope this thing is not screwing up again. Gold. I know there was a bunch of processed food, but I don't feel like dealing with that today. Not on this reclaimer. The best place to sell the processed food is at stations. And the reclaimer can't dock at stations, so your buying and selling gets a little wonky. So we'll just deal with the good commodities for now. Yeah, I really hope I can... Uh, Get these on the grid when I get upstairs. It's gonna suck. No target. No target. Wow, once it touches the grid, that's in the story. That is no bueno. That should be a gold right there. What's oh, iron? Nope, I don't think so. Scrap, nope. Uh iron, nope. Gold, yes please. So hopefully once we get it inside the ship, we can move it around, but it's not looking good. This grid's being a little weird. Uh, let's see, that's two, four, and four is eight. Yeah, that was what we wanted. The rest of this should just be processed food. Iron, nope. Iron. Processed food. Hey, baby. It's what? Okay. Well, I don't have I don't have extension cords runner yet. We'll have to go to Home Depot and buy a splitter. I don't know where it went. We may actually be using it somewhere. I don't remember now. We had a green... Yeah, we do have a green cord with three outlets on it. We could use that for now. But if you want to start plugging a bunch of crap in there, then we'll have to get something. 
I, I don't know, dear. If I knew, then I would know. Try the box by the door. Uh, what the fuck? I have a quantanium in here and a gold in here. Interesting. What is going on there? Gold? Absolutely loves the gold. And now I have memory serves. The front twos are threes. So you can only shove three boxes from east to west and two front to back and three high on that one. So we better leave this guy here. Gold, yes. Now seeing that we should be able to stack this guy right. Hmm, maybe not. Right there, good. And then this goal can go. Right, come on, wake up. Come on now. Uh, why for you being so mean? Thank you. And quantitium. We'll shove you. Thank you. That'll work. I wonder why the gold didn't sell when I was at area 18. Hmm. Curious to find out now. All right, what do we got? We have two drop frames due to encoder lag, zero drop frames due to network. Excellent. Maybe we are fine. and get in position. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the processed food and all that. That's a lot of moving boxes for one person. If I'd have parked it better, maybe. If I'd done a better job of parking the reclaimer, I might have done that. But right now... No, it's... I don't think so. Okay, let's take you... Let's put her right about 100 meters. How is our up and down looking? We need to go down and raise the nose. And raise the nose. That should be just about right.
me to poop in a box. That's all. Okay, honey, with it in the box, all I see is a mass of brown, red, white, and green. Okay. All right. Holy crap, we're blocked already. Forty-four minutes, zero drop frames. Hey, Meg Wang. He's not happy with you holding her like that. He doesn't like you holding her like that. No, she's not. She's looking to get down. There you go, Magazine. Taking a while to poop. Hey, yo, hey, you want to try giving these guys treats? We can try that. This is B keeps stealing them, putting them in the other room, but we'll see what we can do. Let's see if we can get treaties and kitties in here for treaties. Treat time, motherfuckers! Where are my treaty kitties? Uh, okay, there's one. Get yeah, Nigel and Bootsy. All right, guys. Human, you must play. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see this. 
Can I move this out of the way? Is this locked down? Let's make this a little smaller. You don't need to see my fat ass. You need to see kitties. There you go. Okay. Milky, you want treaties, baby? You want treat boot my Milky? Sorry, right, Yoi, you didn't get to see Milky. She's just outside the hallway. The camera can't pick her up. But she is there. Let me see if I can make this one bigger. Wow, that's... What the hell? Is it cutting everything off? Yeah, it's cutting everything off. There we go. Let's drill another one. Hey, there's Magsy Wags. Careful, she may get pissed off with Nigel. They all were given treats. They were all given an opportunity to eat treats. If they turn their little fuzzy fucking noses up at it, that's on them, not me. There you go. Thanks, Joy. Come on, get up there, Court. We lost Nigel. And there we go. Let's do kitty cam. There you go. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Salvage. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. There's what are you night. into, Pagan? Uh, testing, since I put the new cable modem in. So far, it's good. Uh, we've been live for 50 minutes. Zero drop frames due to network. Four drop frames due to encoder lag. Oh, fuck me. There's a bunch of scrap on this thing. Oh, shit. Okay. I got my today. What? I got my new GP today. Did you? What'd you get? A 3080. Nice. Good choice. I ran uh, Star Citizen. It runs good. Oh, yeah. Star uh, SC runs very well on a 3080. Well, I think you could do a little bit better because I think the CPU I have is not the best. Right now. What are you running for CPU? An i9 9900K. Well, that should be fine. CPU. Still good, but it's just getting out. You've got like what? Eight cores? Nine cores? Yep. Wars and 16 threads, I think. Well, I'm going to have a fuck ton of scrap to sell when I get back, because apparently I never closed this out. Hey, Nige. I gave you treaties. I gave you a lot of treaties. You want another one? Here you go, little fuzzy asshole. Um, but I'm planning on probably just taking my CPU motherboard and RAM and selling it and getting a, a Ryzen 7 1700X 3D. Why don't you just build a streaming rig out of it? I don't, I don't stream. You used to? Yeah, I used to, but I... You just don't enjoy like it anymore? anymore. Or? Uh. All right. Whoa, boxy box. Are we full over here? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're full. Holy crap. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to keep a counter of how much I make then because uh, I'm not gonna be able to count boxes. That's four so far. Oh well. A 
let's do text. And we'll say box count. And our font's going to be electrolyte. Now I'll be able to keep track of it. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Head back. Yeah, so far she's fine. There used to be a way you could capture the OBS stats window and show it. I could swear there was a way to do that. Oh, I may have the hide OBS boxes window turned on. There's an option to hide OBS windows. I'll bet you I have that turned on. I am not feeling this song. Whoever this is, is I'm just not digging it. Yeah, maybe that. You've been playing around in the EPTU lately? Uh, I updated it. I was going to test the frame rate in there with that card. Mm -hmm. But I haven't yet. I didn't have you, download it. I was just playing Cyberpunk while well, I was downloading. Have you adjusted your NVIDIA settings when you're playing SC? Turn make sure power management's turned off. Maximum performance. I think that's on all the time. Have you said it? Okay. I don't know whether you were running special profiles for special games. Let me double check. Yeah, if you set max quality, it seems to really make a difference. Which is counterintuitive, because you would think that if you set the GPU for lower quality maximum performance, that it would run faster, but it's been my experience in SC, at least the last time that I tested it, that that was not the case. So it's, uh, what was it under? If you go to power management under your NVIDIA control panel and make sure power management is set to prefer maximum performance. Uh, let me save Cyberpunk and I'll do that test right now. It's been my experience I get the best performance in SC with that turned to maximum performance. You know, I could overclock the card just a little bit, too. Not too much. There's really not a lot to be gained in SC by doing that right now. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I could probably do is overclock the CPU, but... Considering actually doing that, maybe. But no point actually, really.
Well, right now, I don't think the... It's my understanding, anyway, the SC engine isn't really making full use of all the cores you have. I think it's... I think the one that mainly helps the most would probably be the... the, the 3D cache on, like, Ryzen. Or the e cores on Intel's. Oh, turning off the e cores? Yeah. Well, the e cores should be honestly helping it, but you would think, but I don't. I don't think, think that the engine's advanced enough where it can sense the type of core. I mean, it does it for fucking the Ryzen CPU, or somehow. Really? I'm guessing because I mean, when the when the 5800X 3D came out, people are using it on Star Citizen lane. Hmm. Miles performance better. Stress test is one of stress tests it right. Uh, have you tried running saw opposition to test it? Hmm? Have you tried running saw opposition? Uh, Let me see if I can find the link for you. Is it a bench, benchmarking thing? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the people who made heaven. Oh, by the way, did you um, did you watch the Game Awards? No. Uh, um, wow. Oh wow. Oh well. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> Fucking. Actually, who posted that? Was it Barrett or? Well, Johnny posted it yesterday about. Uh, did they? Hello Games making a new game. Oh. It looks good. Oh, it's Superposition. I'm sorry. It's Superposition. Let me throw this in. Uh... I guess I'll just throw it in general chat and you can find it in there. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, you can run that in the test. Oh, I'm backed up. <clears throat> run that. That should let you test it. General chat here. There's a link on the bottom there. It says uh, superposition unit Una, Unigen benchmarks should be underneath the Exodus dramatic or cinematic trailer that uh, Farah has posted. Whoa, I'm getting a little dizzy over here. My, apparently, I have a major ear infection. She said it didn't rupture the tempratic mem the tem tempric temporac temporic membrane, but she said it was pretty close. Apparently there were uh, there were pus when pockets. I was what? Um, when I was in New Babbage, when I was doing the test earlier on the live servers, I was getting 60 FPS and it was everywhere in there. Nice. Very close to it. You gotta like that. I was getting like almost 70 on the train, or the tram. I think the mainly, because when I was talking to some guy with, working on that 2080, he said that that CPU is bought on that game. I'm sure it is, but you know, it's for me, it's a matter of. Is it bottlenecking enough where I am where I want to spend money to fix it, or am I okay with what I've got so far? I think it was like a twenty percent bottleneck. How I much? Think, I think it was like a twenty percent bottleneck. Ooh, that's that's significant, actually. I I'm not a hundred percent sure. I need yeah. to look at that. There is a thing. There's a site where it has a a bot. It like tells you if you're going to be like what your percentage is bottlenecked. I have to look that up again. Yeah, you can Google bottleneck and it'll 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 tell you. 
Types for your model of CPU, your GPU, and I want to say it asks for the amount of memory you're running. Yeah, I'd say maybe the memory and the speeds. There we go. I don't need a calculator. I don't know. Okay. I'm guessing they're calculating the total bandwidth for the, the CPU and total bandwidth for the GPU. All right, that should be eight boxes. Okay, I think we're good now. I might be able to fill this bitch up. So right now, with this CPU, it's 32%. Oof, that's a significant bottleneck. So, my plan is... Is that an MSR? Um, what I'm, my plan is, I think I'm just going to sell, like, do a bundle for motherboard CPU and RAM. I just want to upgrade to the Ryzen 7, or the 7, mm -hmm. because I can get it for, like, not that much. It's, like, really cheap. It's, like, 300-ish bucks. Because if I could sell this for a good, a decent price... I could probably just um, almost pay for itself, basically. Mm -hmm. These fucking elevators are getting so annoying when you have to double press the button, to open the door. Running. I'm getting like 40 right now. And some spots. I really hope they readdress the reclaimer's claw at some point in the future. Oh, I, I get it. Like, what the, how it's made now? Yeah, how it functions. I'm just not, really not digging the straw. Where it's just bare bones, basic. Yeah. You know, someone did point this out last line. I, I think this is an okay way to do it right now. I think it's a good stopgap solution, but I really hope it doesn't turn into a permanent solution. I don't think it will. I don't think it's a, it's a good temporary solution for right now. Yeah, I agree. Because if we had to, like, slice ships up and, like, completely do all that kind of stuff, it would break the fucking game. Yeah, with the current iteration on the server, yeah, it definitely would. Yeah. I think what they're doing is just waiting until Maelstrom comes in, or comes along, that work for it. Well, I That's think one... Good. Because it would, I'd say once they get everything going with Maelstrom and everything going right, I'd say they'll start reworking that. Yeah, yeah, Maelstrom will help for sure. Yes. Um, but one of the one of the problems is that when you when you get the claw in there, in its, from what I understand of the claw's function, original intended functionality, um, that's incompatible with the current ship designs. Because right now the ships have predetermined places where they fracture and fall apart when they take damage. You know, so like the wing may pop off in two pieces. You know, the fuselage may break in four or five pieces. The Herc, you know, the Herc chassis, whenever we hit the Hercs and Bounties, they always break apart in, on, along certain fault, long, fault lines. And the problem with the Reclaimer Claw is if the person using it decides that they want to cut that up into a different piece... You know, the ship geometry doesn't support that. Because the claw's got its little cutter arms. So they need to do something where <clears throat> either the claw honors the predetermined geometry of the ship and allows you to fracture it along those fault lines or change the geometry of the ships completely so that they support player-determined fault lines. I'd say... I, go ahead. Once Maelstrom comes in, we'll get the ability for a, a new cutter yeah. to be able to slice ships up with hand tools. Yeah, yeah. 
they need to alter the claw in such a way that so that when you're cutting with it, it doesn't imply that you're going to pick where the cutting spot is. Maybe like a general location. Or maybe have the HUD highlight the fragments. Like right now on scraping, if I aim at the main fuselage, I see this big piece. Yeah. If I aim at the nose, I see this piece. Maybe further divide those up in the chunks so that you could see when you're in claw crabby break apart mode that it gives you like a fault line goes hey do you want to break these two pieces apart do you want to break these two pieces apart that may be a good a good solution to bridge the gap yeah. but that also means that every ship the markup would need to be changed. The geometry would need to be changed. Graphics for the ship fragments would have to be changed. That's a lot of work. So I can understand why they have a stopgap solution right now of this. I just hope it doesn't turn into a permanent solution. I, I, I think it will be. I mean, it's tier zero. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, let's hope. It all depends on Maelstrom. True. Because we don't want it to be like have like a bare like a really shittier version of Maelstrom right now. No, yeah, that's true. Because it, it seriously would destroy the servers. Because you get like maybe 10, 20 people salvaging on the server doing that kind of stuff. Mm hmm. Well, remember in the demo, they said one person with an 890 crashed it, and that was an internal server that they were running on their own machine. So one player. Fracturing an 890 broke it. I can't imagine four or five people on the same server doing it. Jeez. Imagine someone just doing it to an Idris. <laughs> Jesus. Did you watch the GTA 5 trailer or GTA 6 trailer? Mm mm. You want to talk about graphics? Mm hmm. That game's got graphics. Very Does it? crazy graphics. Yeah, I'll check it out. My neighbor sent me a message last night. Are you watching the awards? <laughs> I'm like, no, my internet's up and down right now. I'm like, I rebooted my router, and I'm not exaggerating here, seven times yesterday. I didn't even. I, for, I thought it was supposed to be later in the, this month. Yeah. I was on uh, 5M and I heard someone talk like he's, he mentioned he was watching the Game of Awards I was like that's fucking going on right now hmm there honestly wasn't really much there announcement wise really and cool things maybe <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year that's not surprising it doesn't surprise anyone <laughs> I think it was, overall, I think it's a better product than Starfield. Don't get me wrong, I don't, you know, it isn't that I think Starfield is shit. I just think overall, from a game game consumer per perspective, at least my perspective, I think Baldur's Gate was a much, a yeah, much Starfield more... Starfield wasn't even on the thing. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> yeah. Jesus, nobody nominated Starfield. Poor Tard Howard's gonna go home and cry and his... Tomato basil soup. I let me look at the nominations. What got nominated? Poor Todd. Okay, well the stream seems good so far. I'm gonna try live streaming on Discord while we're streaming, and see what kind of fuckery comes up. So the nominees were Alan Wake Three, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Boulder Gate Three. Uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Resident Evil 4 Remake, and Spider-Man 2. Wow. I don't think Resident Evil and Mario Bros. Wonder would have gotten it. I know they wouldn't have. Zelda, I, maybe. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man was right there with it, I guarantee it. It's good. I was watching uh, Waka play uh, Alan Wake for a while. It, was, it seemed like it was good and interesting gameplay. 
I, 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 the three ones that I knew was for sure was going to win it was Boulder Gate, Alan Wake, or Spider Man. Yeah, Alan Wake looks pretty good from what I saw. Are we full yet? One, two, three, four, five. No, we are nowhere near full. Oh, I, I need to, I need to actually copy my account over to PT and get my new ships. Cause I still have a fucking hole A. Come on, poop that box. Five, so we need to put this box right over here. Yeah, we're good. All right, box count. We're up to 12. need eight more to finish out this quad. Uh, I'll hold it back in a little bit. I'm going to put some meat. I am, what the fuck are you playing, you two? Oh, no, 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 no. You're gonna stop this crap. What the fuck is going on here? Let's play this. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, Ron, what's up? What's going on? Just testing the uh, modem installation. I had to... I haven't completely configured the Dream Machine yet. So I'm technically running a double NAT. I've got the modem router combination from my ISP. And then the Dream Machine is a router as well. So... The cable modem router comes in, plugs into the WAN port of the Dream Machine, and the Dream Machine is providing DHCP router functions for the whole network. So it's kind of a double NAT. But I want to do it that way so I can directly access the cable modem for testing if it 
something starts bogging down, I want to be able to unplug a cable from the streamer and plug it right into the cable modem. But so far she's groovy. Zero dropped frames on Twitch or YouTube. We should be pushing... Uh, what are we pushing to YouTube right now, or Twitch? We're pushing six megabits, which is fine for 1080p. And YouTube, we are pushing 10 megabits at 1440, so it should be fine. Wow, she's constipated already. That looks great. Yeah, it seems like it looks okay on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, I haven't put it all the way up to 1440, but yeah, it seems like it's okay. I don't see any blockiness or blurriness on YouTube or Twitch. So I think we're okay Watch with him. that. Watching both at 1080. Yeah. But like, the real the real trick's gonna be when I start moving around, like when I leave the seat and start moving around the ship. That's when you see the most blurry and blockiness. And so far, I am not seeing anything. I am running HVEC on YouTube, so that allows me uh, that that provides for a better compression. So that may help with some of the motion and stuff. Those look good. Awesome. Yeah, zero drop frame so far. We're an Long hour and 19 delay. minutes. Longer Long delay. Longer delay on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it seems double Twitch's YouTube, delay. YouTube, you just now sit down from running around. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's a big delay. They both look good. Nice. But you know what it seems like to me? What's that? Every time you test during the middle of the day, mm -hmm. everything works great. Yep. And then it's when you night. go to stream at night, mm -hmm. you have problems. Well, that's what I told the guy. I eventually got a human being on the line. Um... When you go to the Xfinity app on your phone, they don't want to give you in touch with a live rep. They want you to run through this chat thing. And I went through that chat thing nine times. And seven of those nine times, it wanted me to restart my cable modem. And it wouldn't let me go any further until I answered, yes, I'm ready to troubleshoot. Yes, restart my cable modem. But then when that doesn't work, it doesn't give you an option to get live support. The chat would drop and reset right back to the beginning again. So finally I went online and found the 800 number for Xfinity. Someone had posted it. It's pretty bad when you got to Google the fucking contact number for, for Xfinity. And got a human on the line and I explained the situation. And he's like, yeah, and I says, listen, I realize it's not your fault. I'm like, but I have rebooted this cable modem seven times a day. Please do not ask me to restart it again. And then he's like, well, your cable modem, is something wrong. And I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. I made sure I called while I was having trouble. And um, I told him, I'm like, during the middle of the morning, it's fine. Mid-afternoon, it's okay. Late late afternoon, early, mor uh, early evening, that's when it starts breaking. I'm like, I have screen captures on my speed test throughout the day that I can send you. And you can see I'm 35 to 45 during the morning time, you know, 35 to 40 during uh, early evening, and 2 to 4 after 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, my time. I'm like, clearly this is something going on. And he's like, well, your, your current cable modem has reduced compatibility, was the words that he used. And I'm like, reduced compatibility. Well, this is your cable modem you guys sent me. And he's like, well, we can send a replacement or you can go buy a local Xfinity office. I'm like, I'll go buy a local Xfinity office. So I go up there, take the old cable modem back. 
and I go to I, I hand it to the guy, and he hands me a newer, uh, he hands me a clean version of the same one that I have, and I'm like, no, 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 no. They told me that this model has reduced compatibility. He's like, that's not true. And I'm like, well, he told me that there was a different cable modem that I needed to be using for the bandwidth that I'm paying for. And he's like, okay. So he disappears, opens a different cabinet up, and hands me a slightly different schema of the same cable modem. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Yo, it's Joey. That's why I haven't put it in bridge mode and gone through a lot of trouble setting it up with the Dream Machine because I want to be able to unhook this fucker in a hurry. Can I fucking eject, please? My daughter is so pissed with her internet and ain't funny. What's going on? She just got it this month. And she bought... I don't even remember. They don't have fiber. She lives like 35 miles from me. And she lives in the middle of town. What? They and no fiber there? Or anything. No. Um, wow, so she has DSL. Up. But the package that she's paying for, uh, after they hooked it up, she's getting nowhere near that. Mm hmm. Um,. I mean, nowhere near that. Like 20% of what she's paying for. Mm. And they said it's because she's too far from the closest trunk. Yeah, you got to be within two miles of the switching office. Yeah. So she's paying like $50 a month. Or no. They had a special $35 for the package that she was getting. So after she called and complained because she was only getting 20% of what she was actually getting, um, they said mm -hmm. there was nothing they could do about it. She lived too far away from it now. And so I told her, I said, well, I called back and said, well, since I'm only getting 20% of what I am paying for, I think my bill should be less. Right. So she did that. So they changed her to the smaller package. Yeah. And her bill went up to $60 a month. What? Oh, that is so fucked up. The bigger package was a special. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh she's, she's so damn mad. Of course she is. And then, like you said, when you try to get in touch with them, you know, it's it's such a hassle to actually get to talk to somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they know it, too. Yeah, they fucking know that shit, too. It is so... It is... Uh... Uh, there you go, thank you. Yeah, it's trashy. Yoli was uh, in on stream earlier. He popped in from at the feet of kitties. Yeah, let's see where he was talking in chat. On Twitch. Or, well, where the bot said he had joined in bed again. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> just, he did typical Yoli flyby. Fly in, feed the kitties, and fly out. I'm always happy to see him. Evie doesn't have time to stay in chat, just knowing that he's there. I just come in here to check my email and see you're on. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I didn't even I just joined Discord recently. I was like, okay, let's get it down to just the bare minimal and see if we're having any trouble here. So far, we're groovy.
Yeah, we're pushing 10 megs to YouTube, but it looks okay. I think it looks okay. Are you ready to go? Yep, you're ready to go. Somebody showing there. Yeah, we're pushing 10 megs uh. to YouTube, but it looks okay. I think it looks okay. They're showing their what? Somebody. I star and digital asset trading group. You sent me a link to. I sent you a link to him. Yeah. Oh no no no! There was a there was a funny post on there. Wow. Yeah. There's he, a guy on there mm -hmm. wearing a. Uh, gray t-shirt that's got the little box with the uh, error hold on let me turn the error disconnection code 30,000 connection loss connection to the server was lost expect <laughs> problem <laughs> persists please check your internet connection yeah uh, it thinks that he'll get a cease and desist probably <laughs> oh wow that's my wife. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> uh. I need to make a parody of that error. It says not enough money spent on pledge ships. Please pledge more and try again. <laughs> Use their font, you know, just edit the word, the letters to make it say what I want to say. Service quality has been dropped a tier. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh. Holy crap. We're just pooping boxes left and right now. Watch any good sci fi movies re lately? No. Life's been hectic here lately. Yeah, I imagine so. If you would join hey, us. Revile! Right? Needs more paint thinner. Absolutely. How you doing, Revile? Thanks for the follow recently. I uh, saw that on my alerts. Thank you. Appreciate you. We're testing. So far, the test is groovy. We've only got four dropped frames due to encoder rendering lag and zero dropped frames due to network. You want to pet the shadow? Oh, he's a great kitty. That's Nigel. That's Senior Nigel. His, uh, his back legs don't work very well. That doesn't stop him from getting up in that chair. Let me switch the kitty cam and I'll show you what I mean. So you see this cat bed right here? That's on the floor. And the, and the toad above it is, I don't know, 15, 17 inches off the floor. So he manages to pull himself up there. And then the chair he's in is about another 12 inches off of that tote. So he manages to pull himself all the way up there, get cozy and sleep. He's just determined. He's a strong old kitty. But if you if you you got to pick him up in a certain way or he's definitely in pain. He lets you know he's in pain. He won't bite you, but he'll let you know that he's in pain. So, we handle him very clear carefully. That's our senior Nigel. He is, actually. He does. He loves it up there. It's daddy's old computer chair with his blankie on there. And he just goes up there and hides in his blankie. I tell you what, if you type exclamation point treats in chat... That should trigger the alert on the bot, and I'll, 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 I'll feed this little furry asshole. 
go. There we go. Yeah, type exclamation point treats. Oh, yeah. Well, we're just testing shit right now. So I can stream later tonight, I hope. There we go. There you go. Perfect. There you go. You should be able to see him. Why did it not? There we go. That's better. <laughs> he almost got it midair. Holy crap. <laughs> there we go. That should let you see more night. There we go. I need to edit that just feeding scene a little bit. There we go. All right. Where are we go? We were going upstairs. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Black, I I seem to always wind up with a black cat. I actually have three. Yep, Solo and the Reclaimo. Um, that's Nigel. You guys have seen Nigel. And then I have another black one called Smutty too. She was named after a previous all-black cat I had named Smutty. And then the neighbor's cat comes over. Her name is Aurora. She's jet black. Long hair, jet black. Nigel's a Bombay. Smutty is a Bombay. Aurora is a long hair. Black. So, yeah. I seem to always wind up with a black cat. It's... I don't know... I guess the universe tells me I need a black cat. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Come on, eject for fuck's sake. You know, all the talk about elite and how people are saying elites dying and all? I don't think that's the case. I think uh, Braben and crew are going to go back to work on it. Well, I was going to say, ask Sharon her opinion on it. <laughs> ask Sharon her opinion on it? Yep. Oh, she sell a lot of merch with it? She currently has three elite, elite dangerous mugs to make. Nice. She is selling more Elite mugs this month than she has the whole time she's been doing her Etsy shop. Wow. And I was like, okay then. Right, Rafat? If I thought it would help, I would. Guys, I'll be right back. I need to get a package of crackers and some tea. I, they put me on some strong antibiotics I've never taken before. And I need to keep something in my tummy. I'm starting to feel nauseated right now. I don't want to barf all over the keyboard. So After I get down to the pilot deck, I will uh, take a quick second. ERTs? Yeah. Well, here's the thing with the ERTs, Revile. I don't know whether you're aware of this or not. But when you do your ERTs, um, go back with a cargo ship. 
scan them because we are finding much more money for selling the cargo on the ERTs than we're getting paid to do the ERTs. For example, the other night we did two ERT missions and the cargo sales from those ERT missions were somewhere between 7 and 10 million. So definitely consider that. I'll be right back. Let me go get something to drink. Using the C2. Besides five ballistics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You put a couple of ADB5s on that thing, that's a murder wagon. That's what I call it, it's the murder wagon. Um, it does very well for that. Thirty-five mil. Holy shit, that's good. What'd you, uh, what'd you find on there? Yeah. Yeah. Something else that I find helps too, Reviled, is if you turn your VTOL on, it, uh, it allows you to upthrust much, much better, especially when they start getting a little rammy. Mmm. Yeah, the uh, sex eggs sell really well. Incidentally, Christmas season's coming up. And if you want to do this for yourself, or for a fan, that link is to a friend and supporter of the channel that has an Etsy store. And I will say this, let me turn the camera on for a split second here. You guys want to see my ugly ass face. This mug right here, it's kind of hard to see it when it's all frosted over, has the Star Citizen star on it. And uh, it's not on her store, but it's a special order. Oh, yeah, when your VKBs come in. Well, you're already a menace, but it's going to be even better when those VKBs. You're running twin 16,000s now, aren't you, Reviled? I've seen Recall having a conversation with you, either in a YouTube comment or on stream. I think you're running TM16Ks. I may be confusing you with somebody else. Oh, your keyboard mouse. Okay. All right. There's a... If you go to that tips and tricks video, that playlist, in there is a video that will guide you through setting up your sticks and star citizen very easily. Step by step by step. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, they definitely will. Now, it's invariably, when I share that link, one out of uh, every 500 to 600 people will comment and say that I'm doing it wrong, that I need to have roll tied to my left and right, and yaw tied to my twist axis on my stick. And my response is usually something along the lines of, hey, set it up the way you like, and I'll set it up the way that I like. So my advice to you is try both ways. Try setting your yaw to your left and right stick, and try setting your roll, and see which one feels more intuitive to you. Yes. Yeah, do it by feel. In the guide, it, it shows you how to set up your yaw left and right to the left and right movement of the stick, because that's a more that's an easier transition for most people using a mouse. But set it all the way you feel. You know, just do it the way that feels good for you. And then there's a follow-up video, a short in there. It tells you how to do um, um, throttle trim. I'm extremely happy with my VKVs. Oh, hell yeah. Being... I think it's because I'm an electrical engineer, but being an engineer, it seems like every time I get something, you know, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, this is cool, but if it was this way, it'd be better, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. And my VKBs is one thing that there's, there's not much I would change. Mm -hmm. I mean, They're user serviceable. You, you take four screws off the back and the whole metal plate comes off. You can reach inside and unscrew or unplug anything in there and swap it out. Yep. And that, to me, is just fucking amazing. If you have a button go out, you don't have to, you know, solder or replace the whole stick or mm -mm. do anything crazy. You just unplug that one button and replace it. And that's, yeah. And their service is awesome. The sensor. Yeah. You know, you can just unplug the sensor, plug a new one in, bam, done. Mm hmm You know, compare that with other sticks, you know. I mean, well, Thrustmaster, the number one thing with those T and T16Ks is the sensor. Yep. Thrustmaster won't even sell you a sensor. Well, they, you can't. You got to desolder in a motherfucker, and it's in there crazy. Remember what you had to do to regrease it? Yep. Oh my god, that sucked. But I mean, to me, that's just a huge difference. You know, one company, uh, plug the stick away by another one. You know, and the other yeah. one, every part in it, they sell. Yeah. You know, and it's easily replaceable. That's, yeah. Yeah, Big that's difference. pro level stick and, hey, I heard you like joysticks, kid. Buy this one. You load trucks for a living... So hearing electrical engineering, and some of the people have played this game that have like super uh, tons of money. I laugh so hard. I don't uh, have super tons of money. Uh, me neither. <laughs> me, you know how I got my VKBs? That was COVID money. Mrs. B and I got one COVID check through all of that shit. We got one COVID check. And I want to say it was 600 and she's like, you know, I'm thinking we'll just split that COVID money and do whatever we want with it. And I was like, okay. So then I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, I can get a set of VKBs for that. So I wound up getting a set of VKBs with the COVID money, and they've been running strong since. My word, Christmas present. Yep. Probably one of my favorite <coughs> presents of all time. Which models did you get, Revile? Did you get a gunfighter, or did you get the Space Combat uh, Edition? Eat another cracker, pig, and you're still getting nauseous here. Who's that down there? 
Who's that down there at my feet? Hey, sneaks. Nice. They are absolutely solid sticks. Did my box go? Hmm. Yeah, probably. I remember reading a post by VKB Sim on Reddit that they were uh, that they were having some shipping delays because of their Black Friday sale being so going so well for them that they were having trouble shipping and they weren't going to make their normal three day processing time that they would typically make. Yeah, see now there's supposed to be a box in here that I just cannot see. Okay, so 5, 10, 12. We've done 24 boxes. That's crazy. Plus the gold and the quantanium we grabbed off the wreck. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. We got a glitch in the grid again. You still should have them before Christmas. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because they send them... They either send them DHL or FedEx. Um, I've only had two things come from... Well, I've had three things come from BKB, but only two that I ordered. Uh, and one was a replacement palm rest that they sent. I didn't pay for it. But that, that palm rest came in like seven days. And they sent it FedEx. The sticks I ordered when I ordered them two years ago, they were DHL shipped. And from the time that they sent me, they sent me an email giving my my tracking number. They were in my hands in seven days. Um, Each box pays right around 7K each. For me, this is just a kind of a chill thing to do while I'm testing everything on the on the DHL. Nice. For me, mining or uh, salvage has turned into my chill play. That reminds me, I got refinery orders. You might want to clear those out. We don't know when twenty two is coming. We really don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if they push it out. I mean, if it does well enough in PTU, they may just shove it out to live. I mean, I hope that they would release something a little more stable, but hey, who's to say? Hmm. Now, I will say this, Reviled. Let me pull up the site. There's a... Here we go. You make this bigger, it's easier to see. Um, I have the WW2 throttle. I don't know if they show it in here. I want it sticks. Me too. Me too. Um, I have this one. It was sent to me. Absolutely love it. Grateful to the mystery benefactor who sent it. I've got this thing right here set to my landing gear and this set to my 
cycle configuration. So like the um, the whole C, the whole A, the Corsair, and there's another ship. The name just eludes me right now that they change their shape. And this flips that button up, changes it. I've got red set the flock, uh, flight ready and the top button right here set to... Let me set right here. Let's be a little better. I've got the top button up here set to the V tool. This is unlocks doors, unlocks ports, stuff like that. Very handy. But what I would suggest is if you are considering the throttle, maybe go with the Stex instead. Because it's got a, a higher quality throttle assembly and much more buttons. I mean, if you look at this, that's a rotator Welcome knob. That's internet, a hat. That's a hat. Your gateway to adventure. Hey, Blackjack, what's new, man? So, I mean, if it was me and I was shopping for a throttle, this would be the one that I would go for. Hope you're doing well, Blackjack. The illustrious industrialist. I am doing some chill salvage play tonight. While we're testing it, I've been having trouble with my streams lately. Um, they stall out and just go the fuck away. And so far, we're doing okay. They gave me a new cable modem today. Well, they get, I had to drive over and get it, but... They gave me a new cable modem, and I've got it hooked into the LAN. And I thought I would test it out to see how things are going. And so far, it's stable. No dropped frames. So I figure salvage would be a good thing to do. And for some unknown reason, I had unsold salvage on my reclaimer when I went out here to start harvesting. This is live, buddy. This is live. You're content with keyboard buttons if I go that route? Yeah. Um, I kind of do a mix of keyboard buttons and joysticks. Yeah. I like to play live when I can be because it's it's more it's more inclusionary. I mean, if I have friends or, or viewers that want to pop in, they can just jump in live and join me, you know? I don't want to be like, oh, it's... You plebs, you don't have access to the PTU. Go away. <laughs> I think this is a game that does better when you have friends playing with you, as you as you already know, and I'm sure you agree as well, Blackjack. Um, I don't know why it didn't shout you out, buddy. Why did it not shout you out? Yeah. I'm sorry, Blackjack. I'll have to do it manually, buddy. My bot failed me. There you go. Um, Blackjack does ERTs, piracy, FPS combat. Largely, it's piracy, right, Blackjack? Every time I've tuned in, you've either been doing piracy or... ERTs and illegal cargo. But I definitely recommend you check him out. Even if you are not a scurvy piratey dog. Oh yeah, man, no problem. Um even if you're not a piratey scurvy dog like Blackjack is, and he knows I'm joking with him. Um at least I hope he knows. It would behoove you as an industrialist to watch the stream so you know what to watch out for. So even if you don't enjoy that loop yourself. It's a good idea to watch and learn so that you can be prepared. Yeah, 90% piracy. Every time I've tuned in, you've been doing piracy of some kind. They scream pretty well when they die. <laughs> Blackjack's awesome, though. Blackjack is awesome, peeps. Uh, when you join his stream, he's not a toxic asshole. You know, he's... How would I how would I say it? Now nah, you're a scurvy bastard. <laughs> My only complaint with blackjack is that when they go loot, they don't take the rum. You know, what kind of pirate doesn't take the rum? That's my only complaint with him. He just leaves the rum lay behind. I understand why he leaves the rum behind. Doesn't pay shit in Star Citizen. You get what? Five? It's 500 per SCU, I think, for rum. 
and everything, you know, the Weevil Eggs and the Slam and the ETAM or, you know, thousands per SCU. So I get why. Oh, well, well I, yeah, definitely. The Captain's Private Stash. You play the F8C Inferno Constellation and C2 Snowfear Pirate. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that earlier, Blackjack. The 85Bs on the nose of the C2. Oh, my God. I call it the murder wagon. Yeah, it's stolen it's even less. It's just not worth it. Yeah, it's really not worth it. Oh, this is a good song. What song is this? This this song kicks ass. Uh, what are we listening to here? Magic Sword. Hell yeah. Upvote this bitch. And start it over. That's good tunage. Deadly Combo. Herx with Gats is perfect pirate ship. The N2. Yeah, I was thinking one night we should take a A2 out there. I would love to do a couple of salvage missions where you get the extra bombs. Grab the bombs out of the back of the A2. And shove them in there to do a reload. I think that'd be hilarious. To do some uh, ERT cargo in the A2. A fully crewed A2. I think Gorp set his up with full ballistic all the way around. The Connie's no slouch reviled. You know, you can throw 85Bs on two of the mounts on the Connie. I don't know. I mean, I haven't tried. It'd be interesting to see. Get somebody with a tractor beam. I mean, that might be worth trying. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Well... You know, credit where credit is due. I was running, I was running uh, laser repeaters on my C2 until I watched a couple of blackjack streams, and I saw how quickly he was taking down targets with the 85Bs, and I'm like, "Fuck me, let's give that a try." So I went with gimbaled 84Bs, uh, and I liked their performance. And then after getting more, getting more comfortable using, you know, the limited ammo. Um, yeah, we definitely need to test that, Blackjack. Um, but after getting more comfortable using the C2 with ballistics, I wound up taking the gimbals off and going with uh, 85Bs. And I can tell you, that's that's a solid move. All right, can we snap this in the grid? We're going to have some holes in our grid. we got a borked space. So we're going to have to claim the reclaimer when we're done with this run, because this will not... It will not snap over, so that space is fucked. Uh, yeah. Yeah, ADB fours. I would, I would say if you were going to use the C2 as a bounty ship starting from ground zero, when you're doing like the M50s and the, and the Razors and stuff like that, it may be better to downsize with the gimbals and put 4Bs on it instead so that you're going to get more hits. That may be better with the C2 because some of those ships are fast as fuck. I can't put it there. We've got to put it over here. I think that we're missing a square. Right there. That should be right. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah. Well, some of the... I uh, struggle with the fast-moving ships. I struggle. Um, with a C. With a C, too. So I would definitely need to go down to go down to size four gimbaled 
against the 80, the, you know, the M50s, the Razors, the stuff like that, the Merlins. If you're not used to to locks, you can be a struggle for a while to hit the smaller targets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I need to spend more time doing it. I just need to go win Arena Commander one day and just be like, okay, we're doing this for two hours. How many kills can you get in two hours? Oh, the Inferno is murder. The Inferno just shreds. Yeah, one of these nights, Blackjack, we need to get a get a get an event going together, Pirate Pagan. See if I can get a crew of people to escort and defend, and you guys try to hit. I think that'd be fun as hell. Come on, baby, scrape. Oh, yeah, it would definitely be fun. Come on. Scarred and I are trying to set up a charity stream. I don't want you to feel like I'm putting you on the spot. That's not my case here. That that's That's not my goal. But I do want to make sure you're aware of it. Um, if you want to be involved, I totally get that. That's fine. We'd love to have you. If not, that's fine too. But Scarred and I are trying to put together a charity stream for an organization called StackUp.org. They help vets, U.S. and allied vets, um, with like uh, game contributions, equipment contributions. You know, they have volunteers that help them with their VA claims and stuff like that. Anyway. I was thinking that we would do a scavenger hunt for that event where the streamers engage would be the participants and then the top donators in chat would be the ones giving the clues. And I'm thinking maybe the prize at the yen would be like a C2 loaded down with gold or something like that, you know. Obviously, I'm going to have the fun to see too, loaded down with gold, and then stash it somewhere in the verse. Um, but what I need to do is I need to get with Scarred and do like an alpha test of the scavenger hunt, make sure it's going to work okay, and maybe refine the stuff. But just putting it out there so that you're aware of it. Even if you don't directly participate, it, it might be fun to watch. A C2 full of maze? You know, that's a great idea, actually. I need to start collecting maze. I could always store it somewhere, you know? I've got two C2s. I could store one with maze in it and just keep it ready for the event. Yeah, definitely. I heard about that. It's not sure the time right now. Oh, no. I got you. I got you. I get it. Uh, I don't even have a time frame set up yet. Um... I need to get with Scarred, but it's like, it's the same situation with us, Blackjack. You know, um, we work and have a family and stream, so <laughs> believe me, I totally get it. It feels like it's not scraping the outside areas of the little ring very quickly anymore. I don't... Maybe it's just me, but it seems like it's leaving the outside ring more. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'll let you know. Like I said, I gotta get with Scarred, and I need to do an alpha test first. That's what I should be doing now instead of fucking around with Salvage, but...
I'll update as needed as as more information comes up. Holy crap, we're full already. All right, space dude. Come on, open the door, space dude. So we're, what, about 70? Is it 30% done on this, I'd say? 30, 35% done on this scrape. And we've done 24 boxes plus another four in the shoot. That's 28. Holy crap. We might get 65, 70 boxes off this thing. I suppose I could always go down and get the rest of the processed food and stuff that's on board and sell that, too. Oh. I generally don't because it's a lot of work for a little pay, but. Are we done? Yeah, we are done here. Nice. Up you go, baby. Should I be right in here? All right, you're pooping. And how about you? Are you going to poop for me? Of course not. Now you're pooping. Gotcha. And gotcha. Let's start on the new river. A little closer. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 16 times 2 is 32. We're up to 32 boxes. Nope, 28 boxes, because we had 24 last time. Do you solo reclaiming? Yeah, yeah, I'm solo reclaiming. Um... Oh, yeah, this thing is awesome for that. It's just a you got to have a good crew, though. If you don't have enough people on it, soloing the reclaim... I mean, if you don't have enough people... Yeah, definitely, Reviled. Um, if you don't have enough crew, the time salvage missions are a little much for one person. Uh, not in live, but in the PTU, in EPTU, you can stack the processing deck too high. So that takes your capacity from 120 to 240 on the salvage processing deck. And then on the cargo deck, it's still 180. So we gained another 120 cargo in the Reclaimer with the newest release. And I believe the guy said that you can poop one, two, four. Oh no, one, two, Eight and sixteen size boxes, if memory serves. I'd have to ask the guys. I don't. I don't. I don't remember. I haven't spent too much time in e EPTU. I probably should, so I'm more familiar with it when it goes to live. But all right, we are on the port side, so let's finish the port side first. Uh, you put some good jams on. The reclaimer is not bad at all. I'm right now listening to uh, "Between Good and Evil" by Earmake. It's pretty good. Uh, another good one to listen to. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Another good artist to listen to is Volcor X. Volcor X makes great mining, salvaging, cargo run music. Um, Turbo Knight makes really good music too, for that matter. I'll be right back. Yeah, do your thing, right? Elves. I can't play this music right now. Twitch will freak the fuck out. 
and YouTube would be like, you can't monetize that video. Bad things are going to happen. So I just have my mixer set up where you can't hear the jams. I don't... My my videos aren't monetized anyway right now, but the the YouTube channel has joins active and super chats, so that triggers a lot of stuff on there that makes it angry. I've reached out to Volcor X. He's fine playing his music on stream. In fact, on my preludes, you will hear a mixture of Waka and Volcor X. Um, he has a claim active for it, so while the live streams are being reran on YouTube, it does send any ad that runs during that time. Go the money goes to Volcor X. Um, I wish Twitch would honor that as well and be less crabby about it. You know, I can understand why they don't. But there's an opportunity there for these artists to make some money, you know, without putting Twitch in jeopardy and without putting the streamers in jeopardy. So I think there's a big missed opportunity there. I don't know. Maybe eventually they'll catch up to us. They are allowing us to multi-stream now. So, there's progress. Yeah, it seems like the outside ring is just real slow to... Harvest. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting throughput. I mean, if you look at the, the CSCU underneath the red circle, it's, it's pulling particles. I don't know where they're coming from, but it's pulling particles. When they release the update to live, when PTU goes to live, you're probably going to want to swap the mining lasers, or the, excuse me, the salvage lasers, off the Reclaimer, because they give you a set of trawlers, which are just horribly in inefficient. You get a nice wide coverage area, but you're losing a lot of material from it. So I'd recommend going to Dumper's Depot in Area 18 and grabbing a set of abrades. CR8 to crew L4, pick up my C2, I left here for some reason, right? It's hard to, sometimes hard to remember why you log out of stations. You're like, what the fuck? What is going on in my brain here? I wish the Reclaimer could dock at these Lagrange stations. Then I would move all of my ships to a Lagrange station and set that up to be my my home. Yeah, could be. For me, it's a matter of, oh, crap, let's end the stream and go get Mrs. B. She's getting off work in 10 minutes. So either bed logging in strange places or menu logging in strange places. Perhaps, too. 
were you playing Orison, Siege of Orison? Is that what you were doing, uh, Reviled? I was trying to sneak a cracker and drink some tea while my spaceship was going up the ladder, oh, up the elevator. Just random mercs? Okay. We've done part of Siege together one night. Um. Uh, Revile, join. If I don't know if you're in the Discord or not. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. There's, uh, we've got people there that love to do FPS combat. Whoop, wrong deck. Where the fuck did you go, Pagan? Um, Raven does FPS combat a lot. Uh, Halo does it a lot. Um, Z will do it a lot. And there's, I'm trying to think of who the other person is that likes to do FPS combat. Scar does a lot of FPS combat, too, so... He's in the Discord. He's also got his own Discord. I don't have his Discord linked where I could post a link to it. Yay, you're pooping. He sure did. Scar killed his own brother, that son of a bitch. So bad left that little baby cub without a dad? What a dick move. Oh! What the fuck is going on here? Okay, I see. You feeling okay there, buddy? You need to go home? 5, 10, 15. 16, 17, 18. I must have missed count somewhere. We're going to put how much I know I've actually salvaged today. That son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's helping my tummy settle down a little bit. Mrs. B sent me a link to something to listen to on YouTube. I have no idea what it is. All right. Oop, wrong window. There we go. All right, more with a scrapey. Yeah, see the animation seems like it's just a little wonky.
I'm just going to keep going, and as long as it's giving me throughput, I'll keep it on the weird spot. Because it's saying 0%, but I'm still getting throughput. Almost time to move the move the reclaimer around to the underside. That's a good mellow jam. That's why I have Widow and Slam on it. Ah. Yeah, good reason. Good reason. I think we're going to have to go back down and go down to the processing hold and back up again before I can get all this off. It seems like it's generating more RMC than it used to. I mean, we've done 32 so far on just the top side of this ship. We haven't even done the looking down the nose and looking at the tail yet. And you usually get a couple of boxes from that right there. So we might be able to get a significant amount from here. You right? Oh yeah, much better payout. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it all on one. The throughput's good, though. Two and three. CSCU. Look at that six on that one. I'm definitely digging that. Yeah, we're going to have another SCU right here before I even flip the ship around. And there's a little more on the tail from the look of it. Yeah, there's some stuff right there and on the edge. So we probably got two, three SCU on that side left. Which is good. So this will bring us to 36. We should be sitting around 37 to 38. By the time we finish this top side. Hey, 
Hey, Aurora. How you doing, baby? No. Oh. I just sleeping. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that should be good there. Hey, Aurora. What's up, baby? You doing okay? Want to come in here and hang out with us? It's just me and Nigel. like this one, but let's just make sure. Yeah, we're good. to change the alerts, I think. Uh, Chase! Hey, buddy, what's up? It was up? at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> There's your alert, buddy. I don't know if you heard it. You think they'll make a change to Reclaimer since it's now more soluble than soluble for the mole for mining? Um, in the PTU, in the EPTU, they've made some improvements. Um, I don't know if you've had a chance to play with it yet or look at it from a content creator video or whatever. Um, Clever and Moon have spent some considerable time in there doing it. You did. Nice. Um, uh, what it does now is it stuffs it into a buffer. Like right now in live, it backs up the hopper, poops a box, it fills the hopper, generates a box, and then fills the hopper again when it tells you that it's blocked. In the PTU, EPTU, the new mechanic is that it goes into a buffer. And I believe the reclaimer's buffer is somewhere between 120 and 140. So it doesn't start pooping boxes automatically. So you can scrape, 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 and it will fill a buffer or like think of it as like a refinery store and then you go down to the processing deck and you tell it to poop out a box and you can pick one two eight or 16 i believe it is nice so the vulture i believe is 13 if memory serves the vulture the vulture's buffer is 13 so 10 times the buffer for the reclaimer which to me makes sense the Reclaimer is five times the size of the Vulture. The Vulture is like 20-something meters long. The Reclaimer is over 100 meters long. And way wider. A whole hell of a lot wider. So for me, it makes more sense in the Reclaimer to have all that room. Um, and it is more soluble now because you don't have to keep going up and down the, the elevator. Like right now in live, I have to keep making trips up and down the elevator. I get, I scrape four boxes worth, go down the elevator and move them. I'm up, scrape four more and go down and move them. So I think it's a much better fit. Now, I don't know where you're getting this material from, but you can just keep shoving it in little boxes and I'll be fine with that. Crap, that's two boxes almost already. Yeah, 
And she's blocked up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you've got the money to buy one in game, Chase, I would go for it. Otherwise, if you want, I can meet up with you and you can try mine and see if you like it. My the in-game vulture, my liberate transfer and repeat. Reclaimer is just so hard to fly. Yeah, the reclaimer is hard to fly. She's a big old fat heavy girl. But honestly, I think that's the way she needs to be. I mean, if she's got that big salvaging buff and has that huge buffer, then you would I would I would expect it to fly like a heavy a heavy heavy brick. I mean, she's big. It may not look like it, but she's a very big ship. I mean, if you put your vulture nearby, the vulture... Well, to put it in perspective, with that claw right there, an aurora fits in that claw. So, to me, it makes sense. Do we have anything left to scrape, or do I need to move this, baby? Uh, probably just need to move her. Oh, we're getting boxes. I don't know where it's getting it from, but it's getting it. So that's going to wind up being 40 boxes from just the top side. All right, let's go ahead and move her. Um, we were talking the other night, and some of us think that they will release a ship between the Reclaimer and the Vulture in size. I mean, if they're doing it for mining, it stands the reason that they would also do it for salvage. You know, right now we've got the Prospector... A small, the mole, a medium. They're coming up with the Arasta, which would be a large. And then, of course, you got capital size with the, um, uh, Orion. So, to me, it stands the reason that we would eventually see a similar ship scale with salvage. So I would look something about mole size to be a salvage ship. And 100 meters seem to be just about cherry. Yeah, we can make that work. So, mole size, I think, would be good. Your prospector has 32 SCU for capacity, being a small ship. Your mole has a 96, being a medium ship. Uh, we know what the Arasta's numbers are. We've seen them. So, I would think something right about in the middle, maybe around, you know... Because the, the Vulture's like, well, I'm going to throw numbers out there without overstuffing it. We're going to say the intended capacity of the Vulture is 12 SCU of cargo. Some would argue 13, because you could have one in the hopper. Um, we'll just say 12 to 13 SCU is the intended capacity. So if we roughly double or triple that, we're looking at somewhere around 60 to 70 SCU. 
So I would think a medium-sized ship would be somewhere, you know, 60 to 70 SCU for salvage. And I would think it'd be like a two-person ship. I mean, the Reclaimer is arguably a three-person ship, maybe four. You know, if you've got someone in the processing deck handling boxes, and you got two scrapers and maybe a pilot, then that's a three- or four-person ship. So I think a medium would be like two, three. The vulture to me just screams, you know, small guy, you know, a guy with like a single, you know, like a like a owner owner proprietary type of business there. That's the impression I get with the Drake vulture. It's like somebody who hears about, you know, conflicts going down, goes out there and scrapes the wrecks after they're done, processes it, sells the raw materials. You know, and then a company buys those raw materials and uses them to make more ships. And thus, the circle of Drake is complete. Um, so I would imagine a medium size would probably be two, two crew, you know, crewmen of two. Now nah, we're done, we're full. Bring something here in a minute. The claimer reminds me of the Revengers from Serenity. Oh, the Ravagers. Yeah, yeah. It does, actually. If you go through the mess hall, it's got a real strong alien vibe. The mess hall has a real strong alien vibe. We're not done, are we? One, two, three. Nope, we got room for one more. One more. There you go. We got plenty of room in this quadrant here, though. So we got room for 15, 16, 17 more on this quadrant. And room for three more on... What the... What the fuck? So we got room for 20 more. Well, not now, 20 more. 15, 16... seventeen, eight. Wait a minute. Am I math, Bucky? Four? We got the room for three. Four. And 15 more. 19. Oh, that's right, because of the missing box space. We got a borked space, so... Yeah, we got room for 19 more. Then we gotta start shoving them in the cargo grid. Use your alt in an M2 and me in a vulture. Transfer and repeat. Once the Liberator comes in, completely salvage all components. Oh yeah, I get it. Cause you could you could dock the ship with the Liberator, and then go in there and offload components. That makes sense. So imagine you'd be able to do the same thing with the Kraken and the Polaris, and what's the other one? 
obviously I'm not talking like Idris and Javelin size, but maybe the Crucible? The Crucible may let you change components. Depends on how far they go with it. You know? If they decide they're going to go that route with it and let you change components out, then you would be able to do that in your uh, Crucible as well. I say it because the Crucible's got that little... It's got that landing thing, remember? Come on, load up here. Let's go to ships. Who's Crucible? Is it Aegis or Anvil? Let's see. Crucible, here we go. Let's pull this baby up. Yeah, where's that landing bay? Right here. Yeah, let's look at this guy. So right in here, if they let you, you might be able to pull components out in this chase. Yeah, because, I mean, if you look at this Crucible, it's big enough to park a Hornet on. So it should fit all small size ships. I've got a Vulture CCU standing by. It's not actively waiting. I mean, I haven't upgraded to it because there's no point. The loner right now is a prospector, so I'm like, what's the point? We'll just wait. Oh, fucking adverts for HCS. I was like, what the fuck? It's hard to see. Let's try the dark. Yeah, sometimes it's actually easier to see in the dark. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. If, if, if they allow you to change components out with the Crucible, then that'd be really handy for you. funny thing is, is it's not giving me a highlight for that section. You know how it gives you like a yellow and red and green outline? I'm not getting that for it. Now you got me wanting to watch Firefly again. There was Scuttlebutt that they were going to pick that up again. I don't remember where I read it, but I read somewhere that they were... They were in negotiations to do a, another season of Firefly. Or a redo of it. I don't know... If there's any progress on that or not. That'd be all for it as long as they don't fuck it up. I hate when they redo something and fuck it up.
It's a damn good song. I need to make sure I've liked this so I hear it again more often. Uh, Beacon. Good choice. Oh, that's interesting. It's scraping off of a completely different section of the ship. See it down there around the turrets? What the hell is with that? I think we're full again. Oh no, we, it would stay blocked if it wasn't. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I must have already scraped that off. Now she's blocked. That puts us up to 40. And we're still going. We got about, what, 40% of the ship left to scrape? So I'd say right around... 60, 70 SCU? Wow, we're going to need to shove this down into the cargo hold for sure. Tell me we don't have another glitched space on the grid. I think we do. Yes, we do. Damn it, that's two of them so far already. And I just claimed this thing the other day. So we won't be able to hold 120 on the processing deck. It'll most to be 118.
Still can't hold anything in your hands. Uh, are you actually drinking, Space Dude? What the fuck? Oh, what the hell is going on with this server? Let's try it again. Okay, it's beside me. God damn it. Space dude, what the hell are you doing? He picks it up to drink, and then he just drops it. Alright, we're going to try it one more time. And this time we're just going to... Click drink and see what happens. We're not going to click our hand and hold our hand down. We're just going to click drink and let go of the mouse. Okay, good. That worked. Okay, so clicking the mouse caused problems. And they really got to get that inventory set straightened out. That's a zero. That's a zero. I wonder if they fell through to the lower deck. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. They're just disappearing. Oh! We need to change our box count. We're up to 40. miss the Christmas party tonight. The city's having a Christmas party tonight. We're going to have to slow our pace down. We're just leaving salvage out there. So maybe an uh, eighth of an inch for the mouse distance? Yeah, that seems better. And she's blocked.
Hey, Aurora, what's up, baby? Wanna come hang out with me? Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you at? Where'd you go? There you are. There's my baby. Whoop, careful. Aren't you, are you gonna leave me now? Okay. I have no idea why she came in. I guess just for a quick bet and then dip out again. I'm starting to wonder about this server. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder here, Reviled. Yep, there it goes. And just like that, the universe winked out of existence. Proof. All right, close the client. the duel. Alright, let's launch it again. Uh, you should be okay. It's not every single time with the 30Ks it recovers, but most of the time it seems to be alright. I mean... We have a decent shot of it nowadays. Previously, if you had a 30k, you were fucked. Which I'm glad that they... I'm glad that they started working on that before they introduced the Reclaimer Salvage, because imagine how pissed off you'd be if you spent two hours on the Reclaimer scraping and all of a sudden it was all gone. I'd be pissed the fuck off. All right, let's try going to the U.S. It wouldn't let me in the U.S. earlier. At 30K, and it wouldn't go back in, so we'll try to get in. Hey, Aurora. How you doing, baby? Hmm? There you go, Reviled. There's another Shadow Kitty for you. Right there. All right. All the arms is not there yet. Interesting. Right? 
<laughs> That's the question. Where the fuck am I? You probably already know this, but just for the sake of other people who don't already know this, what you can do is you can hit F2, and when the thing comes up, hit the crosshairs, and it'll zoom right into where you are. Again, you probably already knew that, but there probably are some people who don't know that. I've selected the ladies' lingerie floor. Will that suffice for you? Ladies' lingerie, floor one. You might want to consider getting a helmet, sir. That Ziploc baggie is not going to suffice. Here, yeah, it won't let you breathe in outer space. We need to buy more crews. Ooh, a lot of laggy lag lag here. What the fuck is going on? Okay, are these zeros? These are zeros. These are zeros. We're gonna drop them off here. You can stay here. You can stay here. You are 100% full. Holy crap, I have 25 bottles? Fuck me, running. All right, well, I guess 15 will work for now. And my space turtle is floating around somewhere in space. Who the fuck knows where that is? Okay, the competing music is no bueno. You've got to stop. Thank you. Let's try selling before we pull the ship. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll let me sell. You went the wrong way, Dippy Doo. You are fired. Let's see if she'll let us sell. Dippy, go to TDD. Oh my god, hell what happens, die hard. Old habits die hard. What do we got? No drop frames, and we're golden. Sell. Reclaimer. Hmm. You know, what's interesting is the one unit. Oh, no, no, no. It's not seeing the gold. It's not seeing the... No. Yeah, it's not seeing the gold or the quantanium that's in that ship. The fuck? Ugh. I'm going to be mad if that's the case. Because we were, we were damn near 120 SCU on the processing hold. I mean, we're... I was like, what, 15 shy of filling it? Oh, yeah, the eggs are high value, buddy. We're going to pull this thing out and see if we can move the, the gold and the quantanium around. I do not understand what the hell is happening. City flight is proud to be the official transportation service provider. 
Now I guess what I could do is take the Reclaimer out somewhere. Rendezvous with another ship. And try to offload the cargo to the other ship. That's an option too. I mean, it would suck to have to move 100 and 120 SCU of boxes to like a C2 or something, but. Because there was four, eight, twelve, fourteen SCU of gold and two SCU of quantanium on the cargo grid. Plus the salvage at around 115. Well, probably 113 because there were the two ghost spots. So, 113 salvage, nothing to sniff at. That should have been right around 900k, plus the gold, plus the quantanium. Now arrive. Right around a million. That should be a million. I can try and grab another ship and offload the cargo. Might be able to do that here. I have an idea. I have an idea. For the latest travel information, be sure to check the departure and arrival boards conveniently located throughout the spaceport. Let's see what's going on. First. I may have to just pull it out. And then store it again. That may be all that Welcome I have to do. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. You just reclaimer, retrieve. Vehicle. Your vehicle has been delivered. Anger 11, do you have a number? You do not. From now you do. Worlds to exploring the stars. Our corp is proud to Let's see here. Our corp, investing in tomorrow's future. Yeah, if I can rendezvous with a C2, offload the C2 and sell the C2. Welcome! Hey, Trevita, what's up, man? Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Zero sevens, zero sevens. Hopefully 30k crash protection kicked in. I don't know what the hell's going on, but... The gold and quantanium was in the cargo hold before. I do not know what is going wild now. Oh, hell yes. Yes, indeed, sir. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go to the cargo hold first and see what we got. Yeah, see, now there's my stuff. I cannot bring my car, my multi-tool out into my hand. Bastards. Yeah, see, here's two SCU, a quant. There's f four. And four. Oh, no, that's eight and four. That's 12. Plus another four at 16, 17, 18. That's 18 SCU of gold, 2 SCU of quantanium. Yeah, I think so. Now, here's the thing. I'm hoping that once I jump into space and come back, I'll be able to sell. You mean move it around? Because it's already on the grid. Everything's locked to locked to grid. See all of this right here? Locked to grid.
Yeah, this is all locked to grid. Okay. Oh man, where the hell am I gonna move 120 SCU with this shit? Oh, fuck me. Is it enough to just bump it? Is it enough to just bump it? And make sure you don't have a bottle laying around? Yeah, yeah there's a few ghost bottles. Oh, no, 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 this ain't stolen. This isn't stolen. This is all legitimate salvage. Switches died at work, apparently. Jeremy's got it. He's got it. He's linked up now. Uh, yep. Yep. Yep, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're in the middle of a big database upgrade, so I'm kind of bird-dogging my phone right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you take a hit, though. You take a big hit when you sell there. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, that's... I didn't hit that button. This is the button that you I are clear to launch. There you go. It's a pretty sky. This is the Reclaimer. This is the Reclaimer. Yeah, yeah, I've got a Vulture too, but sometimes I just want to get in the Reclaimer and just scrape for a while. I have to worry about running back the cell right away. And the Reclaimer is great for that. Uh, they go for four in the pledge store, or they're, I want to say 14 to 15 mil in game. I'm a little rusty, but I, I, I think it's 14 to 15 mil in game. I'll, uh, I'll turn the head tracking off so you can get a better view of her. There you go.
Please proceed to assigned landing bay. <laughs> it actually gave me a landing bay. Eight clicks in the air. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. Yes, it does. The vulture does as well. But the internal buffer storage on the vulture is 13. The internal buffer on the reclaimer is like 120 to 140. I don't remember now. I've seen two different numbers thrown at me, so. All right, so let's get some distance here. We'll get some distance and see what we can do about moving these boxes. Yes, they do. They do indeed, sir. Um, I think there was a Star Citizen Live where they talked about that. Let me see if I can find it for you. Let me see if I can find it, okay? Uh, subscriptions. Star Citizen. There you go. This is the one you want. I'll throw it in the chat for you. The sanctity of this place has been uh, fouled. If you skip ahead, there's a part where they talk about it. Okay, here you go. So the internal store I don't know how I can... I think I can make this bigger for you, buddy. I'm sorry. It's 13 SCU on the Vulture. And on the Reclaimer... It's 140. Yeah. So it's 140... On the Reclaimer boxes. They should show it right there. I could have sworn they showed it. Maybe I'm tripping balls here. There it is. And it double stacks now. Yeah, and it double stacks, so you can carry, you can carry, you can stack too high. Here you go, right there. God damn it! Come on. There's your uh, compactor thing for the reclaimer. You can make ones, twos, eights, and sixteens. Yeah. And they said that if you put auto eject, it keeps cycling through the one that you previously printed. So, like, if you had picked a 16 SCU and hit auto, it would keep pumping 16s. Um, I don't know that I would pick a 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, a 16 would work. A 16 would work. Because a 16 is going to be um, 8 on the lower level and 8 on the upper level. So it would be two wide and four deep. So you you could totally stack 16s on the processing grid. Uh, you could do one, two... You could do three on each side on the front side of the processing hold. And two on the rear side each. So you could do ten of those on the processing hold and then fill in the rest with twofers. You're oddly aroused by this. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. All right, let's uh, let's jink to the side a little bit, so we're not in a major flight path in case somebody decides they want to try to run a um, 
run a mantis and catch us. So we'll jank a little bit. Jank a jank a little janky jank, yeah. There we go. All right, so let's hop out and move some boxes around and see if that fixes the selling issue. And guys, I've got to hit the little boys' room. I need to. I need to. I need to make number ones. My space dude needs to go party. So let me get to the processing deck, and then I will uh, run hit the little boys' room real quick. The little space pilot's room, as Ron says. The little pilot's room. Otherwise, my choice is to load in with an alternate account, have him babysit the reclaimer, bring a C2 over, and offload all of this cargo, and then claim the reclaimer. That would be the alternate. You need to go potty, baby? Okay, Aurora needs to go out anyway, so it's a good time for me to take a quick little, a quick little break. So we'll do this. And I will hit the little boy's room and let Aurora out, and I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> I got a coolant leak. That's a good one, Ark. That's a good one. All right. So let's do this. Let's jostle some boxes. I think what we're going to do is just move them forward a square and see if that fixes the issue. A bunch of goddamn nerds. Absolutely a bunch of goddamn nerds. Best peoples in the universe. Okay, that's that bottom row moved. Whoops. That's not what I had in mind. Oh, come on, space dude. I've seen you jump up there before. Thank you. So you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Gotcha. You're gonna go there. 
Uh, we already moved you. There you go. I'm hitting the button, you do the thing. That's how that works. You want to let Boots stream? Yeah, Boots can stream. Boots is better. He's much better at it than I am. Okay. So you're going to go here. Oh, maybe not. We got a glitch spot on the cargo grid? We do. Look at you, all glitchy. Take you and shove you right in here. Yep, I'll take you, shove you right in here. Shove you in here. Come on, baby. Up. Okay, up you go. Thank you. Gotcha. And we'll take you as well. Store nothing else in the ship. I've got other stuff in the cargo grid that I haven't moved yet. Remember? The eight. You think your new monitor's here? That's awesome. What'd you get, Ark? What'd you get? Did you buy the... Were you the guy that bought the... Um, the Odyssey. Somebody was getting an Odyssey. I don't remember if that was you. Westinghouse. Okay. Nice. Well, go check. See if you got your new monitor, man. Shit. Post a picture. I want to see that do it, Ty. All right, we're going to see. I'm going to go down to the cargo grid here in two shakes of a lamb's tail. And we're going to see if shuffling the boxes around lets us sell. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to bed log and have creepy load in with me rendezvous in space and offload everything to a c2 and that's going to be an adventure because creepy doesn't have a c2 so he'll have to fly the reclaimer out of atmo Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Uh, that was some weird glittery. What the fuck is going on there? All of a sudden, my guy's walking speed resets? What the hell is going on here? 
SC, you feeling all right? You're still got a glitch spot in the hold. Changing servers didn't fix it. Something's borked with a cargo grid. I am not losing all this S this RMC. Fuck that noise. You did an ERT where there were <laughs> boring old pain. There's a 500 security ended up killing two while well, killing a hammerhead. Got a crime stat three. Now you're in prison. <laughs> Well, what kills me about it is they get in the way. Or you'll be in the middle of combat and the IFF just goes fucky. So you're pretty sure you're engaging the target because, you know, you're in combat. Ships are flying around and you shoot the red one. Yay, awesome, buddy. That's great. I am tickled pink for you. Yep, no, you're not going to shoot with a healing gun. You're going to shoot it with this. Thank you. This guy right here. Right there. Just, 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 just put him on the grid right there. That's fine, right there. And now take this guy right here. What the fuck, Space? Come on. Nice. Got you stacked. Excellent. Let's grab you. Shove you right in here. And I don't think we can put those up there. Well, that'll work. All right, let's grab you. Wow. Let's grab you. Shove you to grid. Might be able to go back. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Let's grab you. Shove you to the grid. And you to the grid. That should reset those boxes. Okay. You can escape. Yeah, you can actually. You can totally escape. Yeah, they they get what the hell? My walking speed just reset again. I wonder if that's... No. I wonder if they're playing around with something with persistence. <laughs> How long did you get? Did you, would you get like four hours? Ark, you're in our Discord, aren't you? Ooh, two hours, 11 minutes. Ark, you're in our Discord, I think. I want to say that you're on our Discord. I seem to recall seeing you in there. Post a picture in the memes and pics. Yeah, post a picture in the memes and pics. Make sure I got nothing else in the vehicles. Nope, we're good. You're in Vang? Okay. Yeah, throw a picture of your monitor up there in memes and pics, dude. We want to see that. Or send me a link to it and I'll show it on screen. The new one. The new one. You want to see your latest acquisition, man? Come on. Yeah, no worries. Take time. I'm wondering if I should just bed log and bring Creepy in. I'm thinking that's going to be a hell of a lot less hassle. How far am I from Mark from our core? Not that far. We're pretty close. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should just bed log and bring Creeps in. You want to feed these guys? We can do that. Let me bed log, and then we will feed these guys. Maybe we can get more kitties in here, Yoy. 
Because you've only seen Nigel so far. You haven't. I don't think you even saw Aurora. Well, the wrinkle is, is I used to do creepy on the streaming computer. The gods do need a tribute. Um, I can still use creepy on the streamer, but not while it's active. It just really goes borky. It's just too much for it to handle. I might be able to do it on the laptop? Whoa. I might be able to do it on the laptop. The last time I tried it, it did not go well. At all. Okay, let's feed these guys. <laughs> Look at Nigel. Nigel's like, fuck yeah, man. We got treats. I know that noise. Treat time, baby. Bootsy, Maggie, Milky, Sneak, Sookie, treat time. She's sleepy. Let's see if we can make this bigger. There you go. Wow, she's just skipping that shit. She's like, I don't know what's going on. And Boots is like, hell yeah, I'll get the treat, sissy. No worries. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it, Ark. Don't worry about it. There you go. I'm starting to think Sneaker's eyes aren't that good. She doesn't seem to see him. No, 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 no worries. I'll get it. I'll copy and paste it. I need to turn that off. There you go. Yeah, I need to turn that off because... um. Where is it? Community, no. Content, no. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, they keep moving shit around and I don't know where they move it to. No, viewers, discovery, engagement, community. Maybe it's under community. Goals manager, activities, content. Moderation. There it is, right there. Okay, so it's Nightbot that's blocking the links. All right, fuck you, Nightbot. You have to go now. All right, Nightbot's gonna go away. Uh, where is it? Spam protection. Links are disabled from Nightbot. So why did you? Well, that's interesting. Oh, I'm logged into YouTube. That's why. Okay, hold on a minute. I was logged in Nightbot on YouTube. I'm like, I don't understand. It's not working. Uh, spam protection. And disable. Yes. Now we should be groovy. Nightbot won't be an angry bitch now. Okay, what do we got? Okay, so this is the monitor that you've got. Awesome. Very cool. I'm very pleased. Excellent, sir. Oh, so you got three screens set up now? That's awesome, dude. Okay, so you got a 24. And a second one. Oh, and a 34 curve. Nice. Is that curve a um is that curve an ultra wide? 
Is it an ultra wide? Okay, I don't know how well this is going to do. It's probably going to freak the fuck out. But I will try loading creepy in and see what happens. Okay, a widescreen. Apparently there was an update for live that I missed. So we'll see what happens. It's probably going to bork like crazy once this client fires off. Um, well, you start streaming again, Trevita. Let me know, okay? And I'll add you to the list. Okay, this is where shit goes fucky. The last time I tried loading up, it just went shit. Yeah, it probably will, Yoi. Well, I've got OBS minimized. I've got all browser windows closed. I've just got the chat from the bot, the bot, and my mixer. You know what? We're going to shut down the mixer software, too. We don't need to run that, either. So we'll shut down the mixer, as well. Okay, I got 47 drop frames. Uh, nothing for network drops. Come on, baby. Come on. With the two other screens, one for stream info, the other for Inara and SC equivalent, which I have not found. Uh, Galog. Um, Revere is updating Galog and calling it what he calls Galog 2. Do I have Sir Bob? Yes, I do. Party invite has been sent for Sir Bob. Okay. Nice. Let's fingers cross. Let's hope this works. And we don't get any fuck ups. Yeah, galog.co. Galog.co. Um I think it's under SC links. Uh yep, Galog is in the link. Um, Galog used to be the go-to trading site for RS for uh, RSI, and what happened is um, they stopped putting the trading information in the files. So that meant that Revere couldn't just let the the database engine crawl the files to get the information it needed. Now it has to be updated in real time. But his girlfriend is parsing screenshots. So what's happening is people are contributing and um, and uploading screenshots with the the information in it, you know, like the buy sell cost and the station ID of where they are, and then um, she parses that information. He uploads he uploads that into the. Um, uh, database. I don't think Creepy has a selling ship. I think he's just got the two fighters. But if he can... If he can just act as a placeholder, then that's all I really need. How's it doing? Is the stream skipping like crazy? Is it getting pretty bad? Hey, where are we? Uh, yes. Oh, that's good timing. Creepy ran right into an open tram. That is perfect. It's running good so far? Okay. We are getting some drop frames due to encoder lag. Uh, I've gotten... 
a thousand drop frames. But I would fully expect that considering that it's playing SC on the other screen right now. So I would fully expect that to happen. That's awesome, Trevita. I'm glad to hear that, man. And congrats on the new monitor, by the way. Well, I hope to see you again soon, Trevita, and I hope work goes smoothly for you. Thanks for popping in. Yep, let's take chat off. We don't need chat being toxic. No toxic shit, please. All right, well, let's stay in here in case I have to bed log in a hurry. So it's going to be boring while I uh, get creepy over here to rendezvous. Creepy needs to rendezvous. Yeah, we're getting some dropped frames here. But I would expect that. All right, creepy dude. Whoop! No, 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 no! Go around. Here we come. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, built an Asus X570 Pro, Ryzen 5700, 64 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA 3060 Ti, and an r Nice. Dude, I am tickle pink for you. Uh, what are you doing, space dude? Come on. Used to running him on a bigger screen. My, I'm cutting my corner short. All right, let's take the Titan. And let's retrieve it. Hangar three. Do we have a number? We do. And we will have creepy rendezvous with us. Then I'll go get the C2. And then we can offload boxes. Forty to fifty C under load and getting CPU clock speeds over four point oh. That's awesome. Well done, sir. Is it Alt R that does it now? What's right ready? Well, it's not left Alt R. Maybe it's right Alt R. It's right Alt R. Okay. All right, and it's alt in to request takeoff, right? You want me to launch? Yep, it's left alt in. Hey, you don't fly mouse and keyboard much, so I'm a little rusty. I have a a fan that sits on the floor. So what happens is anytime one of the cats decides that they're going to walk near that fan, if they scratch themselves or shake, any loose floor they have flies off and that fan blows it right up into my face. Which when you're allergic to cats is a bit of a problem. Uh, Arkins. Okay. We can do that. Alright, we'll let Creepy fly up. Uh, are you on my... S no, you're not on my server yet. Let's do this in this in one um, spectrum. So if we go to... Whoa! Really? You flipped all the way over? Oh, that's insane.
Okay. Let's try to set course for Pagan. And see if it does this stupid... Put me into the sun. Oh my god. We just... We literally just set this. Literally just set this. Give me a second here, buddy. I'm sorry. We have popped grids together so we can salvage ships. Oh, I have an MSR. We used to get more. About yeah. Yeah, and the whole thing is since you can sell from a party member now without the penalty, that's a really good thing to do. Awesome. Okay. So while he is traveling, let's move our mouse a little bit. We're good. And we'll go to Community and Spectrum. And you said your in-game name is Arcans. Arcans. So let's add A R K A N. I've got a lot of Arcans here. Uh, one, two, three, four, fifth on the top. Are you fifth on the top? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries. No worries. There you go. You should have a friend request, Tom. So. Alright, I realize this is not the most exciting thing to see. But I do need to get these two peeps together in the same area. So that's what we're doing here. 200 meters... All right, well, let's get out of the ship. Okay. So now, we should be able to rendezvous with creeps. He should be able to get in the ship now and wait. So let's go out here. Helmet check. Yep, we're good. Probably should have checked before I left Arcor, huh? Nah. Why would you want to do that? I wish party members could bedlog on your ship. That'd be so much easier. Alrighty. You can hang out here. Alright, now, what we're going to do here is we are going to... We have two ways we can do this. Hmm. Store everything in the ship. Nice. 
And now we can take the Ellen Ripley Express. And I should respawn at Arcor. And now Creepy can just kind of hang out here. He will keep that ship there while I come back with a C2. And then I should be able to offload everything I need. Once I'm there, Creepy can log out on his Titan. We'll be fine. Excellent. Let me out, 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 let me out. Should have a undersuit here, a beacon. A beacon special, a newbie suit. Gonna work. And a newbie helmet, please. There we go. Now, let's just go rendezvous with creeps. <laughs> Are we losing a lot of frames? Not really. Not considering what it's doing. You will need a tractor beam, Pagan, in case your ship does not work, or your ship store doesn't work, and you don't have one. So let's grab a multi-tool and a tractor beam. There we go. Oop, and just in case I poke myself while EVAing, let's grab two med pins. Med pin, buy, two, go. Should be able to put these on me. Wow, I guess I had some already. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. There we go. Come on. Oh, fuck me. Really? Just missed it. City Flight reminds you that when trash goes in the bin, we, we all win. win. Your help keeps our core clean. Indeed. Indeed he do. Passengers should be mindful of the platform's edge. Strong winds can arise suddenly. Tram now leaving the station. Stand clear of the doors. Come on. 
with the mouse. Not quite creepy to turn him out. Now arriving. I always tell the traders they're running in light clothing. Okay. Welcome for the latest travel information to the ASOC. Welcome to the ASOC. All right, we need a big ship that'll hold uh, 120. Plus 16, 120, 136. 136 plus another 642, 144. So we need something to carry 144 cargo. We could take a Starfarer out there, or we could take a C2. The C2 is a crew all one in Bahini. Son of a bitch. We do have Starfare's only got 114 cargo, so no, that's a Star Runner. My bad, sorry. The uh, Starfare has 291. We could take one of those. Fly that puppy in and offload it. How easy will it be to get the cargo in there? It's got a nice wide elevator. That might be okay. C2 is going to be better. Honestly, the C2 is going to be so much better. So let's grab a small, fast, light ship and go to Arc L1 and grab it. Grab the. What do we have that's here? We have an A1, uh, a raft. We got the lightning. We could definitely shove it in a Carrick, but that would be a pain in the ass. Let's grab the Pisces and we'll fly that out to Air to Bahini. And then we can grab the C2 from Bahini. Thought I had a C2 here, but I guess I do not. Hanger, 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 too. That's weird. Alright, so we'll go to Bahini, grab the C2, and go up from there. There we go. As long as I knew the quartz marker was going to work, I would just use that. But the quartz marker can be a little weird. Thank you. Sometimes it'll just disappear for no reason. Take off complete. Whoa! Too much there, pig. Something to quantum to to get us out of the neighborhood. And we can go from there. That's enough. Thank you. Now, oh, this should be Bahini. Nope, that's, that's a star. Where are you? Holy crap, we went that far that quickly? Holy shit. That's got a fast quantum drive in it. Quantum drive is now off. 260. I don't know what quantum drives on this thing, but I am digging it. Is this a beacon or something? What quantum drive is in this thing? Holy shit. 
Regulus? Expedition. It's an expedition. Okay. Like, hell yeah, I'm digging this thing. landing bay. Got a rendezvous with Creepsy. Rendezvous with Creepsy. We would be honored if you would. Zara, how are you? Good to see you, ma'am. It's been a minute. Fun fact, do not check to have your seat in a hangar. You would eject through the roof and end up outside. <laughs> you say that's like it's a challenge. <laughs> you did it last night? Oh, man. That's crazy. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. All right, gotta move creepy a little bit. There we go. Don't want creepy stalling out. There we go. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> All right, let's grab our C2 and rendezvous. Rendezvous. Hmm. I've been treating you well, Zira. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Let's store you and grab the C2. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has eh. been delivered to the location. Kind of meh. Please visit us again. This should be interesting. All right, trying to think of the best way. You being at the ship terminal made me think you were right next to me because I was also. <laughs> were you? Yeah, I got a rendezvous with Creepy because it won't let me sell the cargo off the reclaimer deck. So I'm going to have to move everything over to the C2. And the salvage processing hold was damn near full. So that's 120-ish, plus the 20 or so that's on the cargo grid right now, golden quant. I'm just trying to think of the most efficient way to offload it off of the reclaimer. I used the elevator. I know Moon has stacked 40 on that elevator before. I think his current record is 44. I think that's his current record. A <laughs> medic who knows has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Best medic ever. <laughs> there we go. There are Vito on. Are Vito's on? Oh shit! Do I need to repair? I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, a little bit.
probably could have taken a star fare, but it's a lot easier to get stuff in and out of the um, um, C2 than it is the star fare. Alright, if I collide with a ghost ship, I'm going to be really pissed off. Okay, well now we're good. And of course, my marker disappeared. Because why wouldn't it? Thank you. And please visit again. Oh, you silly, silly thing. Alright, well, let's go to OM4 and then we'll go. Uh, Alt R. You're right, Alt and R. Try that. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. And there are some, some, some peculiarities lately. Oh. With turning a ship on, and not all the systems come on. I've been seeing that as well. Yeah, no worries. Now, what I could do is open the sphincter and have and have creepy pitch boxes out of the poop hole and stack them in the C2. I could do that too. I'm just reticent to do that because it's so hard for me to maneuver creepy. Um, I am doing a flybys right now. I'm trying to offload all this cargo out of the reclaimer and into the C2. It's not going to be hard, it's just going to be tedious. So, let's get the poop hole. Poop hole should be right back here. There we go, right there. That should be the poop hole. And I thought... It was open. Maybe not. Hmm. It doesn't look open to me. Let's go find out. Uh, process. <laughs> well, I may just have creepy log out once I get in here. Oh, yeah, it's open. That poop hole is open. All right, so let's do this. Let's chuck a box out there and see what happens. Let's grab one of... You know what? First, let's do the cargo grid. There's less on the cargo grid. And we will get the ship lined up to offload it. Make sure we're not... Yeah, we're good. That should be... Well, we need to drift this way. Because we're going to want to put... We're going to want to put the... Um, We're going to want to put the ship, the cargo, in the... How are we looking here? Just about where we want it. Mm 
if we drop the nose and open the doors, I think she's just about where we would want it. I might be able to stand in the cargo deck and pull them right off the elevator. So let's hold her right there. Uh... Do you have a Reclaimer or a Vulture, Bendy? Or, uh, Vera? I'm sorry. Zira? It has no tractor beam? Oh my god. Alright, well, it looks like this is where we're going for now. You have an Avenger or something? Okay. A Titan? It's been a while. Yeah, it has. It's been a minute. Um, right now, the current thing is... Well, what we've been doing to make money is we've been grabbing the salvage missions. And then... What the hell is that? We've been grabbing the salvage missions and... Um, selling the proceeds from that and then grabbing cargo like this this uh, cargo and stuff that's coming off of this reclaimer yeah it's the titan it sounds like the titan but we will grab the valuable cargo off of the target ship the wreck and then um um salvage the ship, scrape the ship so we make money off of the cargo that's on it, and then we make money off of the scraping and what you're about to see in here is two wrecks worth of valuable cargo, now not all the cargo that was on it but the stuff that I felt was worth transporting, so there's a gold right there there's a gold, wow um, and then uh, two quantum. So each wreck gave us. Are you glitched? What the hell is going on here? Come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give this is me. I take this. Well, let's not squish creepy, please. Sorry, creeps. Gimme. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Wow, it is not letting me move this thing. What the fuck? Fuck you. Well, there goes four SCU of, uh... Or eight SCU of gold right there. Gone. Alright, let's try the big boys. Oh, you only have the... We only have the one. Alright. Wow. And our speed is reset again. All right, creepy. You're gonna turn around. You're gonna grab this tractor beam. I'm gonna place it on the floor. Uh, so you place here. Nice. All right, creepy. You equip. All right. Now you let's get out of the way and see if creepy can move the box. Nope. 
No. Creepy cannot. Well, isn't this fun? I need to put on my shit. Put on my shit. Put on my shit. You and you and you. Yep. And you're going to go on right here. You're going to go on the backpack. You're going to go on the other side backpack. Do you have a vulture? Zero, do you have a vulture? You have the Titan. Okay. You said you're loaded in on my uh, on my server. Give me two shakes here and I'll help you out. I believe you buy the vulture at um I believe you buy the vulture at um Arcor. Not Arcor, I'm sorry, um Hurston. Yeah. So if you get yourself to Hurston, I will send you what you need to buy the vulture and then you can do some scraping. I gotta find you. I know you're in here. Where the hell are you? Zira, found you. Yeah, no worries. There. Uh, so, if you go to Lorville, you should be able to buy the Vulture. And what I would recommend is just take some of those missions. Um, grab a grab a scraping mission. Oh shit! I didn't take call to arms, did I? Call to arms. Okay. Uh, and go to general, general, and then salvage. And you're gonna have to do like the qualifier mission, which is like. 2000 I think do a couple of those uh, here you go right here like here's like an 100 I you know or whatever do a couple of those and that will unlock the higher value salvage missions <laughs> yeah that's a question isn't it do I log in or just turn on the monitor Oh, that was interesting. What the fuck? Do we have ghost boxes? That gold is just ghost boxed. It's like, no. No gold for you. Well, I can't even tractor beam that shit up. That's just nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the update, Zira, you can scrape the skin, and then you can destroy the ship and get the, the uh, construction materials from inside of it, which is a huge, a huge change. Wow, what is going on with this shit? Yeah, it's just, like, not there. 
Thank you. Let go, please. Thank you. I wonder if we're getting some desinker recalls in this shit right here. I wonder if that's what's going on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Jeez. Gold's like, no! Not to mama. Not to mama. Okay. And now you, Quant? Yes, please. Most valuable cargo we have, the gold and the Quant. Okay, so what's probably going to happen is I'm going to hang out here. And Creepy's going to grab boxes off of the ship. At least for now. No, you know what? Creepy's going to bedlog. That way we don't keep hitting the streamer with frame loss. Because this is just goofy. Got lost. Did you? Yep. <laughs> Are you? Okay, awesome. Thanks, Cans. Yeah, because uh, I don't want to put any more load on the streamer right now than on it's running. So we're going to have Creepy bed log in his Titan. If I need him again, he'll be Welcome easy to grab. To Jim, what's up, man? I am logging Creepy out because it's impacting the stream. Thank you for your patronage. Where is my Titan? A Titan against a Titan. There it is. And then that just leaves one computer running. I think Ark's on his way over. Hi, Bumpkin. How are you? Sadly, not yet. Not yet. I do have plans to give it an old-fashioned college try. I am working on a virtualization host right now. Uh, I inherited an old HP ProLiant server. It's a dual proc Xeon 40, 4625, I think. Um, with 28 gigs of RAM. <laughs> uh, some of the stations have been a problem, Zira, for refueling. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Now we're back where we should be. Okay. That should be easier now. Now I can monitor YouTube on one and Twitch on the other. That'll be a lot easier. Uh, Orson? Hmm. Okay. Just you fly to the pad, try to refuel there, and if it does not work, leave your ship off the pad and go in and claim it. Yeah, and I've also had some success with using Auto Land. Somebody told me to try Auto Land one day. I don't remember who that was, but that actually worked out pretty well. Um, you did Auto Land, okay. It is severely fucky. What? Being landed perfectly in the middle of the pad mm -hmm. makes a difference sometimes. Not all yeah. the time, but just sometimes.
Boy, I haven't done this in a hot minute. Now, Moon is a goddamn box monkey. I swear to God, I've seen him load 40-something boxes in these things before. I don't have that kind of patience. Yeah, he's... If, if Moon volunteers to be a box jockey for you on a Reclaimer or a C2, you would be well served to let him t to take him up on that offer. He gets a little crabby about the way the boxes are placed on the elevator. So you're better off to just let him place the boxes on the elevator. But if you let him, Jesus Christ, he'll get a fuck ton on there. Fuck you, Moon, you never had the Oh, there he is. Life. God damn it. He heard me talking about him. Shh. No one say nothing. You didn't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> right? Speak of the devil, a little fucker shows up. Um, dear, I'm sorry, buddy. It has been an issue for a while. No, I didn't hear nothing. Not you talking about it here, goddamn thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. What are you doing, Pagan? Wait. Fuck, dude. Thank you. My space dude just keeps, like, randomly leaving sprint mode. He is dumb! He is so dumb! He is dumb as a box of rockets. Uh, nope, you heard none of the praise I was giving your stacking skills. Absolutely, sir. No one was giving you any praise at all here. You were complaining because you get crabby about boxes being placed on the elevator. That's, that's what was said, sir. Oh boy, we got some fuckery. Yes. I need to get better with the tractor beam. It's a work of art, I'm telling you. It's more of an art than a science. We are using it a lot here lately. Uh, yeah, especially with the high risk bounties. It seems like some days I can get it to work exactly the way it's supposed to work, and some <laughs> days the boxes just want to go where they want to go. Yeah, and then like today, I've got boxes that will not come off the grid. I've had Creepy try it, and I've tried it. Uh, yeah, Monkey. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm doing a test stream right now, Boom. Yeah, it's a test stream, baby. What is it we need to do? You're working till late anyway. Okay. Mrs. B's working till late because we were out until noon. Had to go by and get my meds, and then we had to go by and get the um, modem. Uh, when I when I see boxes. Holy shit, a 15 stream treat? Yeah, Ark, uh, Ark, we can do that. We can send you a Discord link. There's fuckery afoot. There you go. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Uh, yep. Let me grab you right here. Am I. Nope, I am not. we got on there now we've got one two three four five times four is 20 i do need to leave room for me to be able to get in there so we're gonna probably throw a few more and then call it i don't want to double oh shit that box is trying to murderize me all 
I don't want to go double layer because I don't know what's going to happen once we get in zero G. This elevator doesn't seem to have um, gravity on it. Oh, you're going to be a stubborn minx. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be a stubborn minx. Well, fuck you, then. You can shove right there. And we'll grab another one here. All right. Got the party hit the floor. Hey, Parrotses, what's up? Nothing much. What's up with you guys? Trying to offload some boxes. Hmm. Yeah. So are you up on yourself a FedEx, UPS, Amazon? All of the above. Rolex? Uh, where are you, Ark? Okay. Invite the party and Ark. Where are you, Ark? And party invites are sent, gentlemen. Okay. Come. Come. Wow, space dude. What are you doing? Whoa! Okay! I'm not sure what all that was about. Daddy. Hey, Moon, what's up? Box monkey himself. Yep. Box monkey! <laughs> the funky monkey. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Now, I've got a big 8 SCU box of gold on the ship, and it will not let me move it around. Okay, we're going to shove this Quantanium right there for now, because I don't want it in the way. Wow, don't want it in the way. It's not letting me sell off the grid of the Reclaimer. All the previous stuff that I had, I went in there and tried to sell before it. It wouldn't let me, and I, I just assumed that everything had sold when I when I emptied it out. Oh. Clearly, that's not the case. Huh. Oh. So I we got a 30K as I was... See what I mean? Boxes... Yeah, you gotta get on the elevator for it to grab it. Oh, fuck me, really? Yeah, it's, it's been playing around that way lately. You gotta be on the same... Uh, uh... God, how do I put it? The same grid? Basically, yeah. Uh... Alright, so I'm just gonna shove them in there and then I'll EVA over and stack them properly. Hey, Tier Divic. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. I must have come off the elevator. Come on. There we go. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, Ark. Zira, go get your vulture, dude. Don't worry about coming out to help me. Uh, Loreville. Go to Loreville. And it's the New Deal Shipyard. So land in Lorville on your way to the ASOP terminal. Take a hard right when you get to the glass counter. And there'll be New Deal Shipyards. You go around the, the center 
column, and then you'll run across a catwalk, and then you'll run inside a ship store, and you can get the vulture in there for like 2.5, I think. I think it's 2.5. Like you got Arkham sitting up in Jinta. Is he? Okay. I'll just do it on chit chat then. Do you want me to uh, drag him? Well, we, he doesn't have streamer privileges yet, so I'll just go in general chat for now. Let's rage it. God dang it. Who the ha ha! Hi, everybody coming in here. Hey, Ark, what's up? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? I would like to uh, report a kidnapping. Absolutely, a ferret napping, actually. Oh, fine, be that way. It's a ferret napping. <laughs> what, are we, what, are we, what, are we, what are we ferret napping this time? A ferret. A wild I'm ferret. Some, yeah, I keep hearing this wild <laughs> yell going on. Yeah, I know. Every, every time he joins the channel, it randomly plays a sound. I mean, uh, that can always change that to something a little bit more spicy. L listen, spicy. Uh, I, uh, this, this is supposed to be a joke. I hope I don't offend anybody, but you know, you're not supposed to masturbate using light sockets. What are you talking oh. about? It's much more efficient that way. But now you tell me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this isn't on the stream. Uh, it, it is on the stream. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Ma, I'm famous oh, no. again. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, ah, you're all right. We've I'm said much worse. I'm my MSR. I'm coming out there in it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down on the stream now because... Yeah, otherwise you're going to have some problems. Yeah. All right. So I'm bringing my Mercury Star Runner because, you know... And, and it, normally I dress up like Han Solo when I fly this thing, you know. Oh, yeah, but you got to have this very furry friend to hop in the side seat for you. Well, I, I told somebody, I said, dress, I said, look at that, man. They made it, they, they modeled it after the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> dress yeah. me up like Han Solo and spank my Wookiee. Abs yeah, uh, that's what, uh, <laughs> the girl, the girl that designed it, I can't remember her name. She no longer works at CIG. She works elsewhere now, but. The girl that designed it, she says she took a lot of inspiration from the MSR. Or from the uh We just need the Falcon. Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I can tell from the round hatches, the hidden the hidden underbelly of the We just need a Wookiee costume now. Yeah. Right? Well, I did put Pico the penguin in mine uh for a short time until I had to reclaim the ship one day and he didn't come with it, so Yeah, just go to New Babbage and buy like two dozen of them. Then whenever you need them, you just pull one out of inventory. And right, stack it. It. Um, all right. Ron, what's up? Yeah, that see, that's going to be me here soon, Ron. Is I smell dinner, and I'm going to have to dip off here soon and oh, eat. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting. i got to go over here and close the fucking door so I don't get, like, ganked. Yeah, so I'm somebody, hoping I can offload all this stuff. That's a, somebody told me that's a bad thing that does occur sometimes. It can. Yeah. It can. It can. It seems like it happens more often in SC than it does in Elite. That's the weird thing. I didn't know you could do that in Elite. Yeah, you can. Well, if you play open, yeah. Now, see, I don't ever play open. I'm usually always closed on Elite because I'm not. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a really good PvP person. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There's always that person who's either got a faster internet connection, a faster computer, or, you know, it's just. Or uh, yep, yep. <laughs> a sweaty neck beard. Those hey, two. Hey, hey. Quit, quit talking about the neck beard. Yeah, I got a beard. What's going on? Control the beard. Yeah, but is it a sweaty neck beard? beard? That's the question. How long is that beard? How long has it been, or how long is it now? How long is it now? Now it's it's only just a neck beard. Yeah, I pretty much keep a goatee, and end up, I'm usually scruffy behind it. But at one time, I had the whole ZZ top thing going down to my waist. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to suck mine in the And it was, it always had a split in the middle. And it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it would like blow, like well, the reason behind that was at the time that I had the beard that went all the way down to my waist, um, I rode Harley all the time. You know, had a in the wind, and it would literally yeah. split over my, both of my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. On the road, yeah. and it always had a split in the middle. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I, I'm going to offload these boxes first, Zira. At least get them stored on the C2, and then dip. If I can get them snapped to the cargo grid, then I'll call that good. But 
there's 120 on there. I still need to come to you, right? If you want to help, that would be greatly appreciated, but I don't want you to feel like you have to. I don't feel like I have to. I feel like I want to. Yeah. I took, I took <laughs> a group time off for this, man. <laughs> you know, it's almost like I shaved my legs for this. Right? Yeah. Dude, if I thought it would fix the cargo grid, I'd shave mine. <laughs> Hold on, there's something missing. There it is. There's my cigarettes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm fighting cancer. And somebody goes, you're fighting cancer? I'm just surprised to find out somebody actually still smokes instead of doing the vaping thing. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a traditionalist. Boxy box, where are you going? Now, Pagan, think about this. Be smart. Build your backplane. Then all you've got to do is just chuck boxes off the elevator and lock them down. Hey, wait till I get there, and then we can, like, just throw them between each other. And yeah. One ship, one be on the other. But somebody's going to have to teach me how to stretch that beam out. Uh, scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. Oh, that was a Skeet, skeet, what's up? How you doing, buddy? I will try that again when we get out there. Yeah, now, if, 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 you're, if you're on foot and using the hand beam, it's scroll wheel. If you're using a ship, it's alt and scroll. Alt and scroll. Yeah, if you're on a ship, it's alt scroll wheel. Yo, yo! You know what I didn't do? Like a dumbass. What? I didn't uh, lay in a course anywhere. Where are we? <laughs> I am near the R core system. That's going to be the fastest way to find me. R? Oh, no, Skeet. I'm sorry, dude. R core? R? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, R core. I, mm -hmm. I see you there. I see you. All right. And I'm sorry, Skeet. All right. I'm going to go to. I'm actually going to go to our core. And, um, and I'm, I kind of jinked a couple of times, so it's not going to be a quick, direct route of me. Ooh, it's even going to let me do a party member. Well, for now, but then watch that, because sometimes it will send you into the sun if you try quantuming to a party member. Oh, oh fine. Oh. All right, hold on. And then we're going to go ahead and look at our... Yeah, we're high enough up. <sighs> I said set deal and it got a thousand and one little the hell dude. Yeah, well it used to be once you set your quantum destination, everything else disappeared. Now that happens and then when you go in there it just bloop and then it parks back on there and all your icons come back. Yeah. Well, it's extremely frustrating to me. I agree, I agree. All right, wait, 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 wait. I got a icon here, which is a station. That's not the one I need. Ellen, that's not the one I need. If you're not in the R core system, that's what I would do first: is get over here, and then. Yeah, well, I gotta find it out all these little bitties. Where God bless it, shit! I almost turned around and started flying back. What's that one over there? Roll L2. I will go ahead and jump the hell out of here just so I can get away from this planet. Yeah, you can always interrupt quantum once you get a couple of K out. Uh, and hold it down and hey, what do you know? Alright, and now we're going to go to F2 again. I'm going to try this a different way. Clear map. Arc one. Set route. I'm going to arc one and then I'll come to you. Yeah. Now I've 
only got the one damn icon. That is better. It may not stay. Yeah, I got glitchy cargo grid places that won't snap boxes. I got boxes that won't come off grids. There's a whole new level of fuckery on this one. I am on my way. It's all gonna be alright. Uh, oh, it'll be make fine. Make it we'll work. Stuff off. Yeah, we'll get stuff offloaded. I just need to work, get it on the C2 and eat dinner. I was gonna say, if it doesn't work, I've got guns. We can always take care of it another way. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I would do that to you, at least not without you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's been a busy day. Okay. What, about 12 hours at work? He's got a 12-hour shift today. Oh, man. I got 10-hour days, so don't, don't feel bad about that. But I got unexpected ATO today. Whoop, whoop. I, uh, we hadn't seen ATO in months. They were like, hey, you guys got available ATO today. I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm taking that shit. I, uh, decided that a sinus infection and bronchitis wasn't enough. Had to go for the double, uh, the ear infection. You want me to make you feel better about all that? About the ear infection? About all of it. Yeah, what's that? All that shit's gonna go away. Oh yeah, eventually. Yeah, I live with bone marrow cancer for the rest of my life. Holy shit, dude! I didn't know that. Yep. That's why I kind of got dropped off a of leader for a while, man. The blood counts got low. I was fucking lightheaded and dizzy all the fucking time and playing space games. Woo! No, that shit didn't fly. Oh, I'll bet. Oh, it would be like, I'd be like, I'm gonna cold orbit the Thargoid from the floor. <laughs> 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 so can I still hit the but, elevator? Yep, I can. Nice. They got my they got my counts back up, man. They uh, they had me on this Redigrid Pro Crit and that shit wasn't working, man. My counts were just dropping, dropping, dropping. All through really? October all through October, beginning of November, dude, I was going in like every other week to get a fucking blood transfusion on shit. top of my treatments and my treatments wasn't doing shit to boost my blood production. I thought, well, they said, Well, we're gonna send you to UAMS and I went, Oh, hell I'm screwed they're gonna do a bone marrow transplant now the problem with a bone marrow transplant I'm gonna tell you right now uh, you know at you know I'm 48 years old so uh, at my age about 35 to 40 percent of the people who get one of those don't survive two years after what yeah Dude, oh my god. Do you not know, realize what they do when they give you a bone marrow? Well, I know they drill into the donor with this, like, supersized syringe and suck out blood, um, uh, bone particles. I know that. Actually, no, they don't suck out bone particles. They're actually going into the bone marrow and they're pulling out stem cells. Oh, oh that's good, Skeet. Skeet's done then. He's coming back home. Oh, right. Oh, awesome, Skeet. Oh, he finished it. You finished a 12 today. Okay, now I understand better. I, I misunderstood you, Ski. Could have been worse. They could have asked for overtime last minute. I used to work Oldfield, man. You go work at 3 o'clock in the morning, you might not get off for two, three days. But they pay you for the whole damn time, two, three days straight. And then you come home and take about a day off, and then they pin your ass right back here again to work on the equipment and get ready for the next job. Mm. Oh, yeah. It was feast or famine, man. You'd be swimming in cash. Payday'd roll around. You sit there looking at a six thousand dollar check because you worked, you know, pretty much two weeks. You, you you worked two weeks solid, literally getting paid for twenty four hours a day for two weeks solid with only one day off in the middle of it. Have a huge ass damn paycheck, and then you know, two months later, well, no jobs, man. You sitting around for two three months and on your ass with your thumb up. Actually, that part of my language. Uh, you're fine, dude. This That's is. Cool. Uh, this channel has an MA rating. Oh. What am I buying again? I have to wait until this dude gets off the panel. A Drake Vulture. Yeah, Drake Vulture. They're awesome, dude. They are Roger, awesome, Roger. awesome, awesome. Fuck! 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 Oh! Oh, that was with the sound effects like that. I guess I know if we're on an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
I, I, I really started to feel bad when I did no, the no, no, unfollow and spank my Wookie, and then yeah. I'm like, and I thought about it, and I'm going, man, what rating is his stream again? Ma, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, step bros are okay. Step bros are okay. But the the only time so remember, it's one handed one handed gaming's the thing, and what you do with your rags is your own business. Well, there are certain words that Twitch and YouTube don't like. Um, anything that implies self harm is not tolerated. They don't like it when you show a G U N that freaks them out. They don't like it when you imply that someone is a a willless um, acolyte for females. That's how I can say that without triggering the actual word. Well, and, and I'm, not, just, I'm not sure which one you're referring to, but I, I, I think I get to just. Yeah. <laughs> there is one time around here in which uh, Pagan, anyway, is no is not allowed to swear. And that's yes. one of us is enough of an ass to sit here and hit the no swear button on him. Yep. Oh, wait, yeah. there's a no swear button? You, <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, what instantly is, what, puts what you that? on my shit list. What, what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't even supposed to tell you about points, that one. How many points was that one? <laughs> <laughs> Four million. Oh. <laughs> no, I got somebody that will drift into the channel, redeem the no swear, and then lurk the rest of the night. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Exactly, I'm being repressed. <laughs> yes, Zira, that one. That would be the one. But you can't expect to wield supreme executive power just because some watery tart threw a sword at you. <laughs> right? It reminds me, I have a couple more that I want to add. You remember uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade when they're up in that little nook in the side of the cliff? And the old knight's like, he chose poorly. He chose. Yeah, I want that as a sound effect. Uh, I, you know, one of my one is the on mine is the uh, you know that 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 whole dragnet voice that says, and it was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Oh yeah. yeah. I want that one as a reward on my channel, and I actually want that some bitch keyed up on my on a damn because I'm trying to get me a 15 key um, stream deck. Stream deck. Well, there's there's a 15 key, and then there's another one, man. They got 32. a new one out that's got a touch screen on it. Oh, the new one? Yeah, yeah. I saw with that. sliders and all kinds of shit, and you can actually like, you can actually punch a punch a couple of buttons there, and you can actually it it'll actually hold more than 32. You just got to pull up different screens. Yeah. And uh, but I, I want one that, that does that that one. You know, at this moment he knew he fucked up, and then the other one. And I want, as I said, I want it on a, a quick key where I can go boom. Because <laughs> when I screw up, I want to, I, I want to let people know I, I know I screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that right, Zira? I've never played EU, so I don't really know. EU. Yep, never played it. What is EU? E Eve, Eve Online. Oh, Eve Online? Yeah, no, I've never. I, I tried it. I didn't like it. I've played X4. X4 can get a little spreadsheety. That, that's how I wound up on Elite. I was looking for a good space game, and I actually tried Star Citizen on a... Uh, that was the first one I tried. It was, it was at this a, moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah, that's it. But, uh... But... I, I actually tried Star Citizen, but I was on my laptop at the time. Mm-hmm. And I had an SSD in a laptop, but it was like a 256, mm -hmm. um, you know, quarter, quarter, quarter terabyte. I got a half terabyte in this one right now, but I've got two, two terabytes on the way that's going to be added in, and I'm going to rate them. Nice. But, um, so I'll have like four terabytes of that. I also plan on adding two more four terabyte, two and a half inch SATAs. And those are going to be running my, because I do do some graphics stuff, and I do do some, like, 3D modeling and rendering and stuff, and that's where all that's going to be, almost, uh, on those SSDs. And then I've got, um, Elrum actually gave me two, um, two terabyte hard drives, like disk drives. And so those are my backups. Yeah, um, um 
what I would do, um, Zira, they uh, come with a cinch and a braid, I think. Or they come with two cinches and a tractor. Well, in live, they come with two braids and two cinches. You should be good with that. Later, once you start getting some missions, I would upgrade the quantum drive to an atlas. And maybe upgrade your shields to FR-66s. But for now, that, that, that'll get you started. You're going to need a tractor beam. Yeah, you're gonna need you're gonna need one of those gray cat little gray cat uh, yellow guns with the tractor beam attached. Yep, but you can always make one in that vulture if you have to. If yeah, worse comes thinking, to worse, you can do that. I was thinking yeah. the vulture in live is already coming with two cinches, one a braid, and one tractor beam. Okay, so you it should has be a fine. Tractor then. already. Yeah, but I don't There's know. And it has two heads for the. For the scrapers, it, 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 com it comes with two cinches, one a braid, one tractor beam. I have a habit of pulling the cinches off and putting two of braids on and uh, mm -hmm. swap swapping the braid with, tra with the tractor beam over to the cinch. Yeah, but you could get away with bone stock for a couple of missions. You know, save your money. Um, yeah. Moon Moon's talking like optimal upgrades after you've done a couple of missions and you got some cash to burn. Atlas Quantum Drive FR sixty sixes by the by the industrial or the military grade A coolers to keep your shields cool. Um, and Skeet was it Skeet or I think it was Canop that did the in in PTU he did the whole thing where he would uh, distort a target vessel and then um, crunch them. I think the abrades are only about a thousand AVC each. Are they? I don't know if he can get them on low. We have to fly all around the system. My goal is to get him in some cash quickly. Then he yeah. can make all kinds of decisions that he wants. Yeah, and it come Monday, I think it is, the new update's coming. So he'll really be able to make some cash. Yeah, as long as they don't do a ship wipe, he'll be fine. Yeah, I hope they don't do that because I really don't want to lose the ships that I got. Well,. I'll just put this out there now. Yeah, Cadap. Yeah, he did awesome with that. Um, I'll, I'll put this out there now. Anybody that needs to make money after a ship wipe or a, a gold wipe or anything like that in game, just hit me up. It's like I I did two reclaimer scrape missions, and I spent more time moving boxes around than I did scraping. If I had somebody in there to move boxes, you can make money quick. I'm definitely. Definitely looking for crew. Well, Flamer, not only that, but you remember with this new update, it's going to have storage, and you don't yeah. have to go back down there every two down boxes. Yeah, but I also, it's faster with two people scraping, so at the very least, I'm going to be looking for crew. So. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Well, I'll, do I'll, I'll, do, I'll do what I'm doing now. Come out my MSR, because that'll hold. Hundred and ten, hundred fourteen, hundred nineteen, somewhere in there. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's it's got a good, pretty good cargo for a medium freighter. And then uh, coming out that way, I'm about four thousand meters out. It's a better slow down. That would suck to plow into all your ships. Okay, so what I'm gonna first time. What I'm going to do then is there should be about another 40 or 50 boxes on there. I'll get out of the way. You back your MSR in, load these fuckers up, and sell them. Because I'm going to have to dip out of here and eat dinner. Uh, which one are you in right now? You're in I am right? in the C2. Okay, do I need to get off? I need to go to the other one then. The reclaimer is the one that's got the got the material in it. Is the reclaimer here with us right now. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's above me. I'm in I'm in the hull C. I'm I'm in the C2. Above it is a big green ship. That's the one you're gonna want to get. About where I am now is gonna be a good spot. So let me get these boxes in place and I'll come out of the way. Okay. And then you there can take in a, my spot. There is another ship above. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's a ship right out here. It's not, it's not anything more than... Yeah, I see a box about 300 meters out. You might want to grab it. Either that's going to be RMC or that's going to be gold. Uh, I had a problem where the boxes I were hitting with the tractor beam were not moving. Hold on. This is a... Rest in Peace Canada, RIP Canada. That's my reclaimer. Okay. One of our friends died named Canada, and I named the reclaimer. Okay, and if that's, I'm going to ease over towards that. Yeah, my now I'll... Is, I love being a prostitute. Right. Um, what I'll do is, let me get these four or five boxes in place, and I will get out of the way, and you can park where I am. If you back in... Where I am now. Oh, in where the I'm seeing, the, what I'm seeing, I don't see the ship. I see you, but I don't see that. You don't see two ships here. Look up. R.I.P. Canada. That's the reclaimer. Little ship that looks like a delta, a delta wing configuration. That's the C2. I'm about to move it out of the way. Uh, you will need it, or you can make it, Zira. Once you start scraping, you can go into the vulture and craft a multi-tool for 98 RMC, and then. Go back, you scrape a little more, and then go craft the, the tractor beam attachment for like 28. And then once you do that, you'll be able to move the boxes around and then you scrape a whole bunch more. Yeah, but so what. understand that that, bo that box that you're using, because you're actually using one SC, SUE, or whatever it is, you're using one cube to create the. Um, the uh, the tool and then another cube to create the tractor beam. So you're talking 14k. Okay. Um. So understand that when you do it, I let you maneuver. Once you get clear, let me know. Okay. Ah, oh, you're golden. Come on in. All right. I am. Oh, it helps with my reverse thruster. Yeah. Now, zero. What I'm going to warn you. <clears throat> two things if you <clears throat> if you can cheaply buy a multi-tool and tractor beam go for it if it's going to be like you going to another station going to another station yeah it might be just be easier to go ahead and uh, craft one having just, said go ahead i was going to say just about any of those keltel or whatever they are kelto stores have a display with them on them yeah now if you can get to um uh, Tammy and Sons, you might be able to get one there. You might be able to buy one there. Lined up good there. Now, regardless, if you decide you're going to craft one, what you're going to want to do is scrape .99 RMC. Don't let it make a full one SCU. Otherwise, it's going to poop a box out. So you either go down into your cargo bay and tell it not to automatically generate a box, or you scrape 0.99, go down into your grid and um, produce your tractor beam and then scrape another 0.28 and produce your tractor beam. Am I good right there or do I need to go Back down up. and... Back up. Right, hold on. Let me get myself in position. I'll turn my flashlight on so you can see. Well, hang on just a second. And... I'm going to put myself at a different angle. There we go. So I don't, like, hit anything. So if you strafe, do reverse. You're 134. Come on. They wouldn't Be stop. 
little more. A little more. All right, stop and rock your nose up a little bit. Right there. There you go. Okay. Open your cargo bay, and we should be able to shove them right out the elevator door or right into the back of that ship. All right. I'm going to go to salvage processing and load a bunch of boxes on this elevator for you. Because the All next right. thing I'm going to do is claim this ship. Once I get landed somewhere, I'm claiming this thing. This cargo grid's bort. Oh. I can't sell stuff off of it. Oh, that's why. I'm sitting there going, why ain't I moving forward? Oh, because I'm getting mean, huh? Oh. I just hate it when your fingers get moved over just one yep. key space. Yep. I right, coming down, opening it up. Let me double check my helmet. Always safety first. Right? Would really suck to come all this way. It's happened. Uh, Finger slip problem is why I got it where I don't even touch the cube. <laughs> Alright, whoa, I don't see a way. Hi. Here. Right now, with the graphics engine in the shape that it's in, Zero, unless you're running a very old GPU, keep them in high or very high. The reason for that is because the setting very high doesn't use your primary processor to downgrade the graphics. Can I open the elevator? Uh, away. give me a second. I got right. about four or five boxes I'm shoving on it. Give me a let minute. Me, let me get back in my ship here. Yeah, if you get in your ship, I'll drop the elevator. You should be able to pull them right off. I should be able to shove them off the grid and shove them on yours. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is hitting me? I took damage. Are you kidding me? Did you drift into the reclaimer? No, I drifted into... No, not my ship took damage. I took damage. Oh. That little spark thing going. Now, my, my engines are down right now. You might not want to do that. This? They've introduced drift now when your engines are off. Horizon Wait, no, 9 and NVIDIA 3080. I take it back. I take it back. I left them on there. Oh, you're good then. You're good. You got a 3080? I'm running a uh, 3060 Ti. Yeah, I love on the 3080. Zero says he's running a Ryzen 9 and 3080. You ought to be fine at very high. Just set it at very high and you'll be fine. I'm running a, Ry a, a Ryzen 9 what? That's the next question. I don't know. He just said Ryzen 9. Yeah, just understand that every generation has a, a 5, a 7, and a 9. Or, and even a 3, I think, sometimes, depending. Um, On their on their deals. So is it like, are you running a Ryzen 9, you know, 50, or 5950? I mean, what, what are you? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Johnny, what's up, man? And a happy new year. Well, so far, so far, I'm about to log off though and eat some dinner. I'll come back later tonight. Right now, I bumped on to do a test, and it now, seems wait, like wait it's good. I thought all this cargo transfer crap was because of technical problems. Ah, uh, technical problems in SC, not on the computer. <laughs> yeah, wrong kind of problem. Technical problems are technical problems. Well, lately it's been me wanting to murder my <laughs> yeah. SP. Yeah, I was gonna no, say it's been, it's been it's been it's been it, it's it, what is his name? Chris Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, it's Chris Roberts and his uh, merry band of ne'er-do-well, I mean, uh, misfits, or uh, what do we call them? Misfits? I call them Clown Imperial Gaming sometimes. Clown Imperial Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, his name is not Chris Roberts, it's Chris Roberts. It's Christopher please Robinson? Please don't tell me, please don't tell me that he's the one who abandoned Pooh in the forest and made him turn... That son of a bitch. My own. That son of a bitch. Did you ever see that, yeah, that movie? The, the Yeah, the movie they did for him? Yeah. The, the, the horror movie. Mm. Oh, no, I didn't see that one. There's a horror movie about, like, yeah, uh, Christopher Robin returns to the, the wood after, you know, meeting a girl, and he wants to introduce her to Boo and Piglet. And of course, they were, you know, he's been gone so long, they went feral. Oh, shit. <laughs> They ate Eeyore. 
Oh, <laughs> oh this is dark <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's dark as hell, dude. I was like, what the fuck? And they call it what is what is the name of that wood that um the was it the ten acre wood, I think it was? Ten acre wood or something like that. They named it something, man. But it's like it it's Winnie the Pooh on a murder streak and twisted as hell. I'm gonna have to check this out sometime. Just type in Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I'm sure you can probably find a link to it. Even the pictures are fucking no goddamn. You know. Okay, if you grab that elevator, open it from the bottom. Ten acre, oh, 100 acre wood. Okay, my bad. 100 acre wood, yeah. Yeah, if you grab that elevator and open it, okay. it should well, give you sitting. a bunch of boxes. I was sitting in my... You were nice Where and comfy and having a coffee break, aren't you? If you drift underneath the ship and look up at that rear door, it'll be a button that says use elevator or open elevator. Well, I saw one that said elevator, and then when I got there, it wasn't there. So I was like, what the fuck is true? Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Blood and Honey. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I do not. Okay, I see it. Oh, 13 meters. Okay. Um. I'm going to do this as a thing, just to show y'all what I'm looking at here and why I'm confused. I am going to go down here, and I am going to share my screen with you, or well, here I'll just stream Star Citizen into the, this chat for a second, just so y'all can see the glitch that I'm looking at. Do you see the two meter elevator? Where did he go? Uh, don't know. He went bye bye. There he is. Hi. I didn't do that. Just so you know, I thought I had nothing. To I do don't that. believe you, Ferris. Why? I oh. bet you Discord crashed on him. Oh yeah. Oh, he figured it out. Uh, yeah, I figured it out, but it was like not there in the open. Oh, let me get the hell out of the way. Hell, that's always wanting to drop right on top of my head. That should be full of boxes. And I'm going to have another dozen there, or there. so waiting for you at the elevator when you open it back up again. Because I'm about to log off and go eat some food. All right. We ate, I had a pair of Jimmy Dean sausage biscuits this morning and a package of crackers. Some crackers. Crackers. Crack crackers. Oh man. Cheese. Oh no. Peanut butter cheesy crackers. You. No yeah. You. Cheesy oh, peanut butter crackers. Like you lost me at some peanut. They've got no rhythm and they can't dance for shit. Go chow. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, ramen with chicken chunks. You know, I like ramen with hot dogs in it or. Um, Cook up some hamburger meat or ground chuck and throw that in there. Oh my god, that's good shit. Is anyone party leaving? Yes, I'm about to transfer it over. If you want to join in, I will invite you to the Smarty. Sure. I yeah. love to be a Smarty. You love to be a Smarty. There you go. Smarty. Yeah. Thank you. Yo, welcome. Just trying to get these offloaded. Because once I get to our core, I'm going to claim this ship. What I would suggest is when you, op when you open the elevator and come up in here to grab these boxes, try the cargo grid. There was a 8 SCU box of gold. If it'll let you move it into your ship, try it. Because that ought to pay pretty good money. And there's more waiting by the elevator, too. I've got stacked right up against the elevator. It may fall on, may fall on you once you take the elevator up to salvage processing. You're going to find a bunch of boxes stacked willy-nilly up there. I don't 
install them in the back of my, my ship, and then I gotta go back over there later and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm figuring there's probably 40 to 50 boxes here. Big-ass hammer on the end of it called a cargo thing. There you go. There's another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve to fifteen boxes waiting inside. Uh, your your reclaimer, or excuse me, your um, uh, your vulture will hold twelve. 12 on the cargo grid, but you can stack them along the side and make more money. Yeah, you can get almost 23, I think it is, maybe 24 in their total. I thought yeah, there was a... Up to 20, 25, 26. I thought there was a I've way to treat that, this maybe. elevator. Yeah, I, I've had 26 on there. I'm going to have to borrow the elevator for a minute. I thought there was a poop hole to get out, but I apparently not. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm trying 20, to... What 25. Oh. Just let me know when you're off the elevator. You'll be fine. I'm off the elevator. Yeah, give me two shakes. Is not that, not that difficult for twenty-five. Twenty-six yeah. could be a royal bid. Well, you can you can stack them uh, three deep on the cargo grid and lock them in place. But if you stack them as you're looking at the ship, you're going to have the cargo grid on this side, and then a long tube that goes to the back door. Stack them in there, and you can get them eight deep easily. There you go. I need to go it again. Nope, I'm sending it down now. Oh, personal inventory? You should be fine. I would grab a couple of cruise drinks. Yeah, get you something to drink while you're out holding around in space. Oh, hey, get back here. Where'd you go? God damn it. I hate it when a box just goes rogue and takes off. I can't find it. Try to catch it. Oh, you sent that box. Oh, okay. Well, there's another one just outside your cargo hatch kind of doing some weird drifty shit, too. I, I don't know if you it. can see it. I'll grab it. There it is. Okay. I got it from here. Go ahead, drop it. I'm going to start yeah. stacking these up over here. Go for it. I'd love to help you stack the rest, but I'm going to have to dip out of here. Dinner's about ready, and Mrs. B's going to be mad as fuck if I'm not helping her with it here in two shakes. I'll come back later after dinner. I just this was a test to make sure everything was okay. So far, we've had zero drop frames for network, and we've had a couple of thousand when I loaded up creepy. But that's not that's not my ISP's fault. That's me loading Star Citizen on the streamer. It just can't do it anymore. New PTU patch news just dropped. Nice. Wait, did it just drop? Yep. Just dropped new PTU patch notes. Oh, they just dropped the poke in the notes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they didn't push it to live. I was about to get excited, man. Trust me, that means, I uh, would be too. Yeah, new, new uh, PTU patch will be dropping here any second. I think it's open to all backers right now. It is. It is. Yep. Let's see here. Okay, guys, I'll take your bets when you think this thing's dropping to hey. live. Try not to hit me with those. Yeah, I'll definitely hit you with them. No problem. I told you I'm not as good a box monkey as Moon. Moon's an awesome box monkey. The Adam funky Star monkey. Map records for derelict settlements. All right, damn it. get in here. So, uh, so what do y'all think? Uh, um, maybe. I think maybe. Well, I want to say I'm hoping that they'll wait to drop 322 until after end of year, but they'll probably push it before then. No, it's supposed yeah, to be it's not. Monday. Somebody, somebody said, thought they were going to drop it Monday. I talked to yesterday, they, and the guy was running it. Next Friday? Actually, low, Monday. I like Indigo, Zero. Yeah, I like Indigo. Hmm. It was a uh, box, something box. Got no problem. Now, Zira, Ferrets is in the Discord. Moon's in the Discord. 
Uh, Ark is in the Discord. They're all veteran SC players. I'm not a veteran. Okay. Well, the rest of them are. I don't know who this newbie is, Ark. <laughs> um, fucking new guys. Anyway, the rest are, yeah, are veteran a, players. I am a, I am a veteran. Was a veteran uh, elite math? Okay, you are gonna piss me off. All right, here we go. Why aren't you picking up? That one won't move. It'll latch on, but it won't move. Yeah, I've been having problems with that today. Like I said, I got an eight SCU gold box on the cargo oh, grid. Oh, now I'm now it's just floating and levitating above my cargo grid. Sometimes. Hey, I got a place though. What the tractor beam? Come on. Thank you. Whatever you, you guys do, don't read a, a local chat right now. It's getting kind of. Uh, I keep it off when I'm streaming. I just. Wild. I can't trust it when I'm streaming. Good. <laughs> because you... you're, you're sitting there and watch it and suddenly some guy's talking about banging some other guy's mom and I'm like, dude, come on. You don't want to what are you, 12? see what they're talking about. <laughs> I probably don't. I probably do not. Oh. I don't see how people's minds wander like that. <laughs> you know, I haven't I have only reported one person in global chat in four plus years of playing this fucking game. But I don't feel bad about it at all, because I'm like, the guy was talking real toxic, and I'm like, hey dude, can you can hey, you stop hey, that man. stuff? You got more boxes, or are you I do, I do. I'm loading them on the elevator right now. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, well, if you'll drop the elevator down, I wanna see if I can get that uh, gold box. Yeah, no worries. So drop, drop the elevator, let me come over and see if I can grab that. Yeah, you're going to want to grab it because it's going to be good money. Let me make you a hole. Go ahead and send the elevator down. We're fine. Uh, wow. Here's a bit of information about the PTU. What's that? Ship and vehicle AUEC shop prices for this build are temporarily higher for the weekend and are intended to change back to previous prices after the next PTU update. wonder why they're... Oh, probably because of all the money people are making. Ship is it? All of them, according to this. All right, come on. Uh... Yeah, come on board. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my. All right, raise the elevator. Oh, hey. I've got to get on my C2 in bed log. Are you on bed log? Yeah, I got a bed log on the C2. I gotta go get dinner. Oh, there's the thing for it. All right, I'm gonna go up here and see if I can get to that. So I want the cargo hold, right? Yep, cargo hold. Not the salvage hold? W nope. The rest of the ship's empty except for a undersuit and a helmet. You want me to grab that and put it on my uh, ship? Nah, no, it should be fine. Yeah, you're right, Jim. Buy all your ships now. No, no, no. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Man, I want the, I want the reclaimer, but I just don't have the money for it. Right. Actually, if you're thinking of buying ships, it's too late. The update's dropped. To live? Uh, to, to PTU. No, 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 I mean live. I mean live. Oh, on live, yeah, yeah. You buy, you buy a ship in PTU, you're not keeping it. Yeah, this isn't going to affect live. Oh, no, that's right. son of a... 15 mil. Stuck. Yeah. It's 15 mil. That, that gold is stuck to the floor, dude. Yeah, I can't get it off. At all. Somebody got one of those guns? Can you, you got a gun on here? One of the, the big tractor guns? I tried it. Yeah. It didn't work. Okay. I tried bumping it, running into it. I tried tractor beaming it with a small one, tractor beaming it with the big one. I tried tractor beaming it so it would uh, spawn around me, give me like a like a like um, an outline of it, and then I couldn't get it to move. It would highlight green, rock just a little bit to one side, and then not move ever again. All right. Oh, great. Now it's not letting me exit ship. All right, I'll wait to leave go. party until I know that you're out of that ship so you don't get stuck in there. Well, I'm trying to... Well, it's not... One down, dude. The elevator's not lowering. 
uh, I'll lower, I'll load back in. I should see if it lets you open the doors then. Once I spawn in the C2, it should reset all the doors for you. Well, I'd say that was successful. It's 640 and we have zero network drop frames. Let's see if it lets you open the doors now. Please let me out of here. No. Okay. When I hit that it's cargo hold, salvage balcony, and exit shit. Yeah, and it's what I'm clicking. Wait, there it goes. There it goes. Got it? Okay. Uh, I may have been I may have just not been on it good. Yeah, maybe. I'll let you all wait till I know that you're out of the ship though. And the elevator's down before I bedlog. Alright, I am um, yeah, I'm down. We're good. Go ahead awesome. Alright, you should be able to sell that at uh area eighteen, Lorville, Grim. Orson and New Babbage. I'll there. probably go to Orson because that's where I, that's where I kind of home base out of. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stay in party and at the menu. That way, it still counts you and I in the same party. Since I harvested that stuff, it's linked to me. But you can do a party sell right now. So if as long as I stay in the menu idle like this, it should let you sell it at full price. If I exit the game client completely, it'll drop me out of the party and you won't be able to sell it at full price. All right, folks, dinner time and pill time. I need to get my droppies in my ears and take my pills. Take your pills, damn it. Take your pills, you son of a bitch. Um, I will be back later. Drugs are bad and gay. Mm gay. Um... I don't know. You guys want to do more of that? You want to do some ERT bounties? You want to do mining? Just let me know when I get back, okay? Hey, I got a prospector. Cool. I've and Zira just got that. his I've his vulture. I've done mining, so if you guys want to do that, let me know. The most profitable thing right... Yeah, Petra Kitty, right? Uh, the most profitable thing right now in game is oh, it... ERTs. What are ERTs? Uh, the high The high risk... Bounties. Oh NPC yeah, bounties. I don't even have. I've no. I hadn't even. I. I still need to do those beginning bounty. Well, later. Yeah, later. Uh, Skeet. Um, I've got HRTs. If I grind through HRTs quickly with somebody, we might be able to get to VHRTs or ERTs tonight. I don't know. Um. Otherwise, if Scorp loads in, he's got ERTs. I don't know if Skeet does. I don't know if Scar does. I don't know if Moon does. I don't know how far Moon's gotten. I don't. Jim's got ERTs? Okay, yeah. So Jim, Jim's got ERTs. Um, if you guys decide you want to do that, what we were doing is a couple of people would grab the ERT, share it with the mission, with the group. They'd go kill the ERTs. Somebody would tow that destroyed ship, or not destroyed, soft death ship, out of the operations area, the AO, we would offload any kind of cargo onto a cargo harlow ship. Scrapers would come in and scrape that ship. Now, you do get the benefit of having the RMC to sell, but I think it's more money per hour to just do the cargo and the ERT. I really think that's the fastest way right there to the money is the right because the, the I mean some of those some of those runs they had the drugs and those. The drugs are really valuable, especially the weevil eggs. The sex eggs sell really well. So, just something to bear in mind. It can get repetitive, especially to people who don't enjoy combat. So, it's... The other night, we were doing combat, cargo, and scraping, and that and that gave the people who well, don't MS, like... My well, MSR, I think, can do both. Combat Yeah. And... But the thing about it is, is it's, it's something for people to do who only enjoy the industrial side. They can do the scraping. People who enjoy high-risk cargo can haul it. People who enjoy the bounties. I think it's a pretty good mix to let everybody have a little slice of it the pie. It ain't high-risk. You're taking it to Grim Hex. <laughs> no, you take it for full value. You're going to take it to Brio's. Oh, they're better? Well, okay, for price, but it's also up here. Or... No, don't worry about it. I'm going to claim it when I log back in. 
right. I am right, folks. into my ship now. I got everything on here. I just want to clean up my cargo. Bag. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be out of here, guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit later, okay? I'm wondering about it. I'm wondering about it.